Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Greek Mythology, God of the Gods. Chapter 66. God King, we haven't found any trace of the Fire Stealer. God King, the Fire Stealer, is not within the scope of our search. God King, we haven't found it either. Listening to the reports of the gods under him one after another. Zeus still sitting on the ruins of the Caucasus Mountains. The already pale face became even uglier. Trash, it's all trash. The fire thief is close to exhaustion. You have so many gods and haven't found any trace of him, what use do I need you? Zeus roared angrily, causing all the gods present to lower their heads cautiously. But my heart is full of slander. You didn't and couldn't win the opponent yourself. Just yelling at us, why don't you scold yourself for being useless? Hermes comforted him and said, Father God, that, fire thief, chariot is very unusual. I feel that there is a space authority similar to my, travel, authority hidden in it. The gods can't catch him, and there is no calendar. His persuasion made Zeus' face soften a little. But at this moment, holding a trident, the sea emperor Poseidon with blue hair fluttering in the wind. With a smile on his face. With Prometheus and Poros, and a thousand sea gods. Fly from the sky. Far away laughed loudly and said, Zeus, I heard that you missed the, fire thief and now he is missing. I don't know if I, the sea gods, should assist you in your search. Zeus raised his head coldly. Poseidon, I have countless gods in Olympus, so I don't need to trouble you. Oh, why don't you appreciate my kindness? Poseidon sighed, his eyes were full of sarcasm and he glanced at the bloody brother in front of him. At this time, Prometheus and Poros stood behind him. Seventeen came out. Prometheus bowed slightly to Zeus. Then he looked at the Lady Justice who came with him. Goddess Themis, all the gods saw the battle just now, and the, Fire Stealer, has someone else. Now should be able to prove my innocence. The solemn Goddess of Justice, Themis, hesitated for a moment with her cheeks covered by cloth strips. Immediately under heavy emphasis. From the current point of view, you, Prometheus, have indeed been cleared of suspicion. Her words made Zeus' face change. Immediately roared. This can only prove that he is not the, fire stealer, himself. But he couldn't get rid of it. He and the, fire stealer, were accomplices, and they were secretly suspected of being a gang. Single quote. Zeus, goddess Themis have made a verdict, you are still messing around here. In my opinion, if you see any god who is unhappy in the future, you can directly identify him as a fire thief. Poseidon sneered. Themis, the goddess of justice, also resolutely turned to Zeus. Your majesty, the current situation is enough to prove Prometheus' innocence. If you insist on arresting him, then please abolish my duty of being in charge of the laws of the gods first, and let me leave Olympus. Themis, you. Zeus stared at the solemn and solemn white-robed goddess in front of him, and his hand holding the lightning spear trembled a little. Themis, the goddess of justice, is one of the twelve titans of the titan court. In terms of seniority, she is still his mother's older sister. High status. He is also known as the gods for his justice and strictness. Loved by all gods. She was also one of his seven wives. He gave birth to the three goddesses of timing. Although it is not one of the twelve main gods, its status in Olympus is far above most of the main gods. Such a great goddess. At this moment, the attitude is so resolute against him. There was a long silence. Zeus nodded gloomily and said. Themis, I respect your judgment, let's do it for today. Thank you God King for your discernment. Prometheus bowed to Zeus with a smile beside Poseidon. Zeus' face became even more gloomy. Then he glanced at Poseidon in the distance. Suddenly, he looked at a heroic goddess in the crowd who was wearing bright armor. Athena, the ocean situation is tense, so don't go back this time. Go to the ocean and help my brother, and win this war. Whether it is Athena, or Poseidon, in the presence of the gods. They were all startled. I don't understand why this god king made such an order at this time. Athena came out quickly and saluted Zeus. Follow your will, my great father god. Zeus nodded. Poseidon's face over there was not very good looking. He knew that Zeus had absolutely no good intentions. To send Athena to the ocean must be to spy on oneself. But if you don't accept it, Zeus might take Athena or some other god. Sent to Arnold's and Pontos in Osesk for support. 
It's even worse for him. I cursed a few times in my heart. Poseidon immediately nodded to welcome Athena's arrival. Zeus squeezed a smile out of the corner of his mouth and said, Then I wish you Poseidon that you will unify the ocean as soon as possible. He stared deeply at Prometheus again. The god king turned to look at the surrounding gods. What are you still standing here for? Continue to search for, fire stealer, for me, no matter where he escapes, I will catch him. The roar of Zeus made the gods nod their heads in haste. Then spread to all over the world. Zeus said to the rest of Themis and other gods. Back to Olympus, ever since, in Poseidon's mocking eyes. When they came out, they were majestic and imposing Olympian gods. Under the leadership of Zeus who was in a mess. Dejected Euro Olympus. Had Athena not been there, Poseidon would have laughed out loud. But at this moment, his face suddenly changed. What's going on, the army of Lipontos in the deep sea is gathering. A sea emperor holding a trident. In an instant, his expression became extremely dignified. Prometheus came up to him. Neptune, it seems that the god king's battle today has stimulated Pontus. I'm afraid he is preparing to start the ocean war immediately and decide the outcome in one fell swoop. I think so too. Poseidon nodded with a gloomy face. Azure eyes looked at Prometheus, as well as Poros and Athena. The Pontus army assembled, but did not go to war directly, it seems that they are still contacting OCE Arnolds. I want to turn around the ocean first and stabilize the situation. Saying so, he took another deep look at Prometheus and Poros. Don't forget our previous agreement. Poros walked to Prometheus's side, smiled and said. Neptune, please rest assured, teacher and I will definitely help you win this war. That's good. Poseidon turned his head, greeted the sea god behind him, and hurried back to the ocean immediately. Wait for him to leave. Athena quickly came to Poros. How are you doing now? He asked nervously. Sister, don't worry. A smile appeared on Poros' face. Although there have been successive battles, the loss is relatively large. But now I have recuperated on a small island in the ocean. Quote. I think it will take a few days to fully recover. But Zeus, his injury may take some time to heal. Quote. Having said that, he had a regretful expression on his face. If it's just Zeus, I might have a chance to end him in a single battle today. But the entire Olympus, the entire divine court, is not so easily subverted. Quote. Prometheus nodded. It's not just the many main gods of Olympus. Although Poseidon seems to be at odds with Zeus, if it really comes to a critical moment. I think he and Hades will definitely save Zeus. Quote. It's not even just them. If they want to subvert Olympus, there is another person. I'm afraid it will also be the biggest resistance in front of us. Quote. His Highness Prometheus refers to. Athena's eyes flashed. Grandmother of the gods, Earth Mother Gaia. Hear the name. Poros quietly looked at the boundless land under his feet. Prometheus covered his mouth and coughed, and said in a low voice. Whether it is the first generation god court, the titan god court, or the current Olympus god court. The god kings of all dynasties have been inseparable from the shadow of the earth mother. She can be said to be the manipulator behind the scenes of the entire world situation. 620. Just like this ocean war situation, I'm afraid it is also inseparable from her. Poros and Athena nodded solemnly. Earth Mother Gaia. It is indeed a terrifying existence. The three generations of Shetting, whether they are god kings or gods, are all descendants of her blood. Although she has not shown much. But the tentacle still has a firm grip on every part of the world. No one can change the order of the world without going through her. Fortunately, Goddess Nyx is currently supporting us. Prometheus continued. Although I don't know the relationship between the originals. But from various signs, I know that the relationship between the goddess of the night and the mother of the earth has always been contradictory. Quote. As long as we have her support, we don't have to worry too much about mother earth. His words reminded Poros. Before sensing the powerful peeping of the suspected earth mother, disappear soon. Could it be that my cheap mother secretly helped me? Poros thinks this could be big. Prometheus had sent him to the Evernight goddess for the original purpose. It is to let this goddess who symbolizes mystery. Cover up the blood aura on your body so that Zeus can't find it. The earth mother is the supporter behind Zeus. 
it made no sense for Nix to guard against the possibility of being discovered by the original god. So stay if you are piqued by the Earth Mother. It is also conceivable to use corresponding means of launching. Okay, if you want to overthrow Zeus, you still need a lot of conditions. Let's go to the ocean first and meet my real body. Poros said to the two. Athena nodded. Zeus sent me to the ocean this time to monitor you and Poseidon. But it also gave me a chance. I think I can take the opportunity to visit a god. If you can get his support. The matter of overthrowing Olympus will definitely get a lot of help. Quote. Athena, are you referring to? Prometheus seems to have thought of it too. Just about to say it. Suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood violently. Teacher, how are you? Cough cough. Father, how are you? In the grand and empty palace of the god king. Zeus, who had just returned to the throne, suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood again. Hermes below was suddenly tense. Zeus shook his head at him. It's okay, although the injury is not serious, as long as you rest for a while, you can recover. Hermes felt relieved. Father God, why don't you ask Apollo to heal you? Apollo, the god of light, has authority over medicine. Unexpectedly, his proposal aroused Zeus's fury. Let him heal, who knows what he'll get me. Today's battle with the fire stealer, he and his sister seemed to contribute, but they were just acting with me. Unfaithful and rebellious, I will never let him see my injuries. Hermes bowed his head. After a while, Zeus said from the throne. Your injury is not minor, go and see him yourself. Since you don't want to, Father God, then I won't let Apollo show it to me. Hermes had a pale face with stubbornness. Well, you're such a good boy. Zeus was very satisfied with the son's attitude. At this time, he saw a beautiful woman walking outside, so he waved to him and said. Don't let Apollo heal, you go back and have a good rest. Thank you Father God. Hermes saluted Zeus respectfully. When I went out, I saw a woman approaching me. He lowered his head and said in greeting, the queen of God. The glamorous and graceful woman nodded to him. Hermes quickly left the palace of the god king. But what Zeus didn't know was. As soon as the messenger of the gods returned to his temple. Immediately called his son Pan, the god of shepherd. Hurry up, go to the temple of light and ask Apollo to prescribe a potion for me. It's killing me, hurry up. Make it more hidden, and don't be discovered by anyone. After exhorting his son, Hermes lay on the chair with a cunning smile on his lips. Thinking from now on, he must be the most trustworthy son of God the Father. And in the palace of the King of Gods. After Hermes left, Zeus looked coldly at the approaching graceful woman. Hera, what are you doing here? This woman was his queen Hera. Hearing his cold question, the glamorous god empress immediately put on a straight face. Isn't it natural for a wife to see her injured husband? Of course, although you are my only husband, I am not the only wife in your heart. You should prefer to have the lover who will please you come to see you now. Sneering, Hera walked to Zeus's throne and sat down slowly. Apparently, the couple, relations are not harmonious. Hera, like Zeus, is the child of the second generation god King Cronus and the goddess Rhea. She is the youngest sister of Zeus. She was the last of Zeus's seven wives. It is also the only one who has successfully sat on the throne of the Queen of God. But after making her the only Queen of God, Zeus did not stop looking for pleasure. On the contrary, it has intensified and kept all kinds of lovers all over the world. Then Hera stared at him every day to catch rape. This has always been a great joy for the court. But no matter how noisy. For a long time, Hera has been the only Queen of Zeus. She is the only goddess who has always accompanied the god king. After sitting down, this queen of the gods with graceful appearance and noble temperament. Then he sneered coldly, you took my crystal today, but you gave the gods a good look at your ugly appearance. Quote. Being so ugly by an unknown, fire stealer, the great king of the gods, how do you feel now? Zeus looked at her coldly. The strength of, fire thief, is not as simple as you think. Of course it's not easy, otherwise it wouldn't make you so embarrassed. Hera's expression finally became serious. As he spoke, he took out a bottle of emerald green potion, uncovered Zeus's clothes, and slowly daubed his wounds. Zeus's expression softened, and he said to her, how is the reaction of the gods now? 
Seeing you in such a mess with my own eyes, I know that the so-called king of the gods is not invincible. Although there is no change on the surface, each of them has some other thoughts in their eyes, replied Hera. HMPH, they're all disloyal. Zeus looked angry and was about to drink. But Hera stopped him, it's better to be less angry, it's not good for the injury. The identity of the person who stole the fire is unknown, and such a threatening person is still outside. How can I be at ease? Zeus let out a long breath. He hesitated in his heart whether he could go to the temple of the goddess of fate and let the three women die. Find the, fire thief. But he remembered the previous battle. The other party mentioned the matter between the Hyperians and Uranus. If true, those three women may not necessarily be trustworthy. That temple, that portal, everything is so weird. Can't trust too much. At this moment, Hera suddenly said. Someone just reported that Pontus has assembled an army to start a war against Poseidon. Oh, he was frightened by me. So it is impossible to interfere with the ocean while I am injured, and I want to fight Poseidon quickly. Quote. Zeus smiled. At this time, his body suddenly shook. Ocean warfare. Mother Earth. Yes, why don't I go to her? Zeus, what are you doing? Hera frowned and looked at her suddenly nervous husband. Zeus stood up straight away. When I first fought with the, fire stealer, I sensed that Gaia seemed to cast his gaze. The ocean war situation is controlled by her, although the purpose is unknown. But at this moment, she must not be sleeping, but she is always paying attention to every corner of the world. Quote. With her strength, she will definitely be able to help me find the, fire stealer. Thinking of this, Zeus eyes brightened. Prepare to go to the temple of the earth immediately. Meet the grandmother of the gods. At this time, the pain in his body brought him back to his senses. Hera, then apply the medicine to me. When I'm almost recovered, I'll go find the, fire stealer. He won't run away this time. Teacher, are you okay? Don't worry, I can still support it. On the ocean, on a remote island. Poros, who had just joined the shadow body, helped the pale-faced Prometheus to sit down. Sure enough, the radical formula was arranged at the cost of falling three ranks. It has done too much harm to your spiritual body, teacher. Quote. Poros said sadly. Prometheus shook his head. Otherwise, how can you rival Zeus? Besides, whether I am the sixth level of the main god or the third level of the main god, I will not be very helpful to you. The prophet didn't care. Staring at the vast ocean around him with clear eyes, he murmured. Just like my old friend, he is also a non-identity person now, Zeus thinks he is a useless person, and he doesn't bother to be imprisoned in Tartarus. But if you can really invite him out, Zeus will definitely regret this decision in the future. Poros looked at Athena not far away. Single quote dot. So sister, the god you are talking about is. Nikki's father, the brain of Titan, Pallas, the god of war strategies. Athena said a name solemnly. Poros understood now. He had also heard of the father of victory, the god of war strategy. He was the youngest son of Hecate's grandfather Cleos the Titan. An important figure in the former Titan god court. He is often called together with Prometheus and Métis, the mother goddess of wisdom. But it is different from Prometheus and Métis who later supported Zeus. Pallas has always been the commander of the Titan god court. It has a status second only to the second generation god King Cronus. During the Titan War, I persuaded him to stand in Zeus camp like me and Métis. But he didn't agree, and then I joined forces with Métis to lead Zeus and they defeated him. From the looks of it now, Métis and I have chosen the right camp. It's not better than him who chose the wrong one and ended up better. Quote. Prometheus said with a pale face. Although it had been expected, Zeus's attitude towards him this time still made him feel completely chilled. Compared to this, I am more curious why Zeus let him go after the battle. Poros said. Pallas is known as the brain of the Titans. He is a key figure in the Titan court. Teak Good Money was the commander of Cronus's side during the tank war. No matter how you look at it, with the character of Zeus. They shouldn't let him go after the war. Prometheus and Athena looked at each other. The former looked a little sad. As I mentioned just now, he is already a useless man. Athena said sideways, as far as I know, his highness Pallas was defeated by his highness Prometheus and his mother in the Titan War, and fell into the depths of the sea. 
When he came back from the ocean again, he became old and decayed, completely without the slightest heroic appearance of the past. The seventh level personality of the main god has also declined to the point where only the middle god is left. Quote. In addition, Niji followed Zeus at the time and made contributions in the Titan War, so he should have become one of the thousand and two main gods. Nikki pleaded for his father and exchanged the position of the main god for Zeus to spare Pallas. Only then was it thrown into Tartarus. Quote. After listening to Athena's narration, Poros was surprised. What exactly happened, so that a powerful god of the seventh level of the main god is left with only the personality of the middle god? Athena shook her head. Even Nikki doesn't know about this. When her father came back, he wouldn't tell anyone what happened to him. Is that so? Then I'm more interested. A smile played on Poros' lips. I've sent Nikki to the ocean. When she comes, let's visit Pallas again. Prometheus is resting, on the bare sand, Athena said to Poros. Looking at the surrounding ocean, Poros nodded. Pontos gathers an army, and the ocean battle will probably start immediately after the Lord of the Ocean, Arnold's, makes a decision. Sister, what do you think he will choose? I think he's going to choose neither side. Whoever wins out, Poseidon or Pontus, he will surrender to whomever. Quote. Athena said lightly. Poros heard some sarcasm in her tone. He looked at Prometheus not far away. He said in a deep voice, Sister, your judgment is consistent with mine. O.C.E., Arnold's, he's always been like that, said Athena. The master of the ocean and rivers, the emperor of the sea and the court of the titans, O.C.E. Arnold's. If you talk about blood relationship, he is the grandfather of Poros and Athena. Métis, the goddess of wisdom, is the daughter of him and the goddess of the sea, Tesis. But if it wasn't for Métis being brilliant and famous, Poros thought that the ocean lord couple might not remember her name. Because she is just one of their 6,000 children. In Greek mythology, it is called a stallion. Most people will think of Zeus and Poseidon. But in fact, in terms of the number of children, they are far behind the lord of the ocean. From the first generation of gods to the present. Arnold's and Tysus, Arnold's and Tesis, had a total of 3,000 sea gods and 3,000 sea goddesses. A full 6,000 children. Fill the vast ocean to the brim. The river gods of every river on the earth are basically their children. Maybe the entire Olympus gods added together, not as many children as these two. But although there are many children. Great ones but not many. Among the 3000 ocean gods, none of them can be called the famous 370. But among the 3000 sea goddesses, there are several very outstanding goddesses. Métis is one of them. And Poseidon's queen Amphitrite. Prometheus' mother, the goddess of fame Clemene. And one of the seven wives of Zeus, who gave birth to the seaweed goddess Urinum, who gave birth to the three goddesses of grace. The common feature of these famous daughters is that they are all married. Marry a powerful deity. This is how Arnold stands. Relying on the daughter is enough. Let the famous gods become his son-in-law. So as to keep itself standing. In the Titan War. While he stood with Cronus in name, his daughters Métis and Urinum became the wives of Zeus. This ensures that after the war, no matter which side wins, nothing will damage his status. At the same time, step on several boats and fall on both sides. This is the consistent style of the Lord of the Ocean. Sapporos and Athena, it is estimated that this grandfather still has this style this time. The gods rarely have family affection. Because when it comes to talking about it, almost all the gods are related by blood. Mother Métis is only one of 6,000 children to the Arnolds and Arnolds. Even if they were swallowed by Zeus, they never said a word. Poros and Athena naturally have no affection for these two people. After discussing a few words, I don't want to say any more. Looking at the sun softening in the distant sky, Athena suddenly moved closer to Poros, cheek, gestured at his height, and said. You've grown a lot taller, and you're taller than me now. I feel that the personality is almost reaching the ninth level of the main god. Poros smiled. Yeah, you don't need my protection now. Athena said with some regret. Witness the battle between Poros and Zeus on the Caucasus Mountains. She will understand. The younger brother who needed her careful protection at the beginning has become a powerful god standing at the top of the gods. She no longer needs to be hugged and cared for. I can feel my sister's melancholy. 
Poros was about to say a few words of relief. Athena in front of her suddenly glared at him fiercely. When you grow up, you will become more courageous. Don't tell me clearly, just fight Zeus alone. Poros turned his head sideways, and said in a low voice, it was an emergency. And even if I lose to Zeus, it's not a problem to retreat completely. Quote. He silently thought of the, car of the void, that he had disguised as black. Zeus's horse can't run as fast as mine. Athena didn't know this trick. He could only stare again and said, don't do such a dangerous thing next time, let's overthrow Zeus step by step. Poros nodded. Suddenly he patted his head and said, I almost forgot, I asked Hecate to contact Poseidon first when I came to Haiyang, and I will go to see her after I agree. As he spoke he walked towards Prometheus. Asked, teacher, where is the residence of the meteor goddess? Prometheus drew a map of the ocean on the ground. You see, here is where we are now, and this island is where Asteria lives. Poros nodded. He said to Athena, Sister, you and the teacher will wait here for Nikki to come over, and I will go see Hecate. Athena nodded. Hecate's mother, Asteria, goddess of meteors. The island on which it is located is a small warm island in the south of the offshore sea. Full of flowers and plants. There are also many animals playing. At this moment, Hecate in a brown dress on the island. I am bored playing with a few rabbits. But compared to teasing a rabbit. She prefers to dissect rabbits and see their internal structures. It's a pity that a dignified goddess with gorgeous hair and long colored skirt is staring at her closely. In case she kills her pets. My daughter, you finally went home and lay down, why are you so listless? Mother, it may be because I'm used to the darkness in the underworld, and I can't adapt to the warmth of spring and flowers blooming here. Hecate rolled his eyes at his mother. The meteor goddess Asteria walked up to her helplessly. You child, you have been like this since you were a child. Other goddesses like beautiful clothes, beautiful jewelry, delicate flowers, and cute pets. As soon as you see them, you have to cut them to see the specific composition. No wonder no male god wants to marry you when you are so old. The shooting star goddess B in a colorful dress is a headache. The atmosphere of the gods is developing, and the adult goddess has few male gods to pursue. My daughter is not bad either. It's just too weird. So I can't get married. Hello, my dear mother. I heard goddess Athena say that you always talk about how good I am outside. Why do you like to talk about me right in front of your eyes? Hecate was aggrieved. Of course you have to agree with others. Meteor goddess patted her head. He snorted and said, if you don't want to be told by me, bring a good-looking male god to meet me next time, and I promise not to tell you. Okay, I don't believe me, so no one really wants me. Hecate snorted. A figure suddenly flashed in my mind. At this moment, she suddenly raised her head to look at the sky, her face was flushed with a blush. Why? Dot how is it such a coincidence, I just missed you, dot you are here. She lost her voice in surprise. There was already a voice from above. Hecate, I'm here to see you. The meteor goddess keenly noticed the fleeting blush on her daughter's face. Immediately, his eyes opened wide and he looked outside. Under the gradually setting sun. Orange halo against the sea. A handsome young man with blonde hair and silver eyes slowly approached from the horizon. The slender figure looks extraordinarily sacred in the sea and sky. Has an indescribable majesty. My daughter, it seems that I have wrongly blamed you. Your eyesight is better than mine, and my eyes only chose your father, that one-sided brat. The eyes of the meteor goddess became brighter than the setting sun that descended from the mountain. Pulling her daughter to greet her outside. When Poros came to the island, he suddenly saw the goddess in colorful skirt coming towards her. I am about to introduce myself. The meteor goddess has already stepped forward and said. Poros, son of Nyx, I heard Hecate mention you. Well, he's so handsome at such a young age. It took a while for Poros to react. Greeted politely, are you the goddess Asteria? The meteor goddess nodded, signaled to Hecate behind to speak. The girl in the brown skirt rolled her eyes and said to the blonde boy facing her. This incident took me from the underworld to the ocean in a hurry, how do you plan to compensate me? Didn't Cerberus already give it to you as a reward? Poros said with a smile. You said that the three-headed dog, although its breed is very strange, is similar to that big lion internally, and has no research value. 
Hecate pouted. It seems that only by catching Typhon can I meet your research needs. Poros smiled. I saw my daughter chatting happily with the young male god in front of me. The meteor goddess nodded in satisfaction. Quietly, they went from the edge of the island to the inside. After discovering that she had left, Hecate looked Poros up and down. Tell me, is that, fire thief, you? You can guess. Poros didn't answer directly. HMPH, I guess it's you. Let me contact the sea emperor for you first, make preparations, release the news, and throw a big banquet. Then you and his royal highness Prometheus appeared at his place with a high profile at night. Quote. It's just to cover up that you actually stole fire from Olympus. But I don't know, how did you manage to have two you at the same time? Hecate stared at Poros curiously. In fact, there is an illusion similar to creating a clone in this world. But just relying on this kind of trick, it is impossible to hide it from the eyes of the king of the gods. So Hecate was very curious about this. That's actually a small trick, I'll explain it to you later. Poros responded with a smile. Okay, but if it's you who stole the fire, then you were the one who fought against the god king in Caucasus Mountain. When did you become so powerful? The girl glanced up and down at the boy in front of her in disbelief. It's like getting to know each other again. Hey, I've always been great. Poros said seriously. From the time I realized it to the present, is there anything I am inferior to you? Hecate tilted her nose and thought about it. It appears that this is indeed the case. This guy in front of him has always been stronger than himself since he was a kid. The first time I met, I learned the magic that I had studied for a long time. Also created a more perfect. HMPH, I'm a goddess of genius. After a long time, she muttered dejectedly. Poros, don't be restrained, being here is like being at home. Goddess Asteria, I am not bound. In the bright temple, I looked at the meteor goddess who warmly entertained me in front of me. Poros feels the atmosphere, a bit weird. It's like meeting your parents. Hecate next to her also had a very shy expression. Sit at a table. The meteor goddess said to him, Poros, you are a student of his royal highness Prometheus. Alas, I also just heard about his royal highness Prometheus. Zeus is still so arrogant, how much his royal highness Prometheus helped him back then. Now he doesn't talk about sympathy at all, he just wants to put him to death. Quote. Fortunately, his royal highness Prometheus is fine in the end. The meteor goddess still deeply remembered that her husband Perseus was sent to Tartarus by Zeus. Speaking of which, he doesn't have the slightest respect for the so-called king of the gods. This is actually the attitude of most Typhon gods towards Zeus. The Titan Wars of yesteryear. Except for a third of the Titans who joined Zeus' side. Of the remaining two-thirds, half were sent to Tartarus after the war. The remaining one-third were also forced to live in seclusion. These gods were to Zeus. They lack affection and respect. Poros also understood. Why did my sister say? If it can get the support of Pallas, the god of war strategy, it will be of great help to subvert Olympus. As the commander-in-chief of the Titan god court in the past, Pallas is in the hearts of these remaining Titans. Prestige is very high. As long as he raises his arms, the Titans scattered all over the world can gather together. Rebellion against the rule of Zeus. You said that you, his highness Prometheus, and goddess Athena are going to see Pallas soon. Here Poros mentioned the news. The meteor goddess was taken aback. The dignified look is a little sad. How many years have passed? I still remember that when he was in the court of Titans, Perseus followed him every day to conquer all parties. At that time, he was handsome, wise, brave, and tall. He was the perfect male god in the hearts of many goddesses, an undefeated myth. Yu Yu sighed, and she looked at the two young gods in front of her with a brow full of sighs. That titan war changed too many things. Perseus was imprisoned in Tartarus, and he who was once the most vigorous, now looks like a withered tree. Poros didn't expect that it was just a name. Pallas made Asteria, the widow of Titan, have such a huge mood swing. Quickly changed the subject and said, Hecate, how is the situation in Hades recently? Hecate next to him frowned, and said softly, Since you didn't stay in Hades very much, Hades secretly sent people to us. Especially the city of San Poros, said to assist in the administration. Quote. 
but I feel that he is planting people and wants to master those dead souls that you have cultivated so hard. I'm sorry I didn't notice at first and gave him a chance. Is that so? Poro's face was calm. He smiled lightly and said, It's okay, I'll go back to Hades when I'm done with the ocean. Naturally, there was a way for him to retract his outstretched claws. Quote. What Hades did did not exceed his expectations. After several attempts to restore the relationship failed. On the contrary, he acted that he might be drawn in by Zeus and Poseidon. The Lord of Hades. In the end, I still couldn't hold my breath. I can understand his thoughts, and the underworld family never tires of it. If he really fell to Zeus and Poseidon, he can't make preparations early, he must become a polished commander all at once. But this kind of practice, it seems too petty. The meteor goddess hummed, the three brothers Zeus are all virtuous. Hades looks nice, but is also a ruthless jerk. Quote. As she spoke, she reminded Poros, this time you and his royal highness Prometheus participated in the ocean battle, but you must be careful of Poseidon. Goddess, I know. Poros nodded. Suddenly asked, Goddess, you have been living in the ocean, so you should have an understanding of the battle in the ocean. Meteor Goddess recalled. Slowly said, In my impression, the chaos in the ocean has actually been around for a long time. After the Titan War, Poseidon became the third sea emperor. The ocean that was originally divided equally by Pontus and Arnold suddenly became three-sided. Quote. In the beginning, Poseidon was the weakest, relying on the help of Zeus and Hades to gain a foothold in the ocean. Afterwards he married the goddess Arnold, the daughter of Arnold's. The two sides reached a covenant, which gradually developed. Then the power expanded, no less than Arnold's in Russia. Quote. After reaching this level, the three parties have maintained a certain balance, and basically there are few major conflicts. I thought it would always be like this. But I don't want to know what's going on. They're going to have a decisive battle all of a sudden, because there's only one ocean out there. The meteor goddess words made Poros's eyes sparkle. He asked, Goddess, do you still remember, did anything special happen to the ocean before and after it evolved into the current situation? It's something special, why do you ask such a question? The meteor goddess was puzzled. Poros did not directly answer this question. When he discussed with Prometheus and Athena before. As far as the evolution of the ocean situation is concerned, something is very wrong. Triangle is the most stable figure. The three emperors of the ocean check and balance each other, and none of them completely overwhelms the strength of the other two. It shouldn't be necessary to decide on a unique one all of a sudden form such a tense and chaotic battle situation. Instead, it seemed that a hand was deliberately guiding it. And the source of that hand. Then there is one most likely to exist. The meteor goddess meditated alone for a while. Suddenly he said to him, hearing you mention it like this, I really feel a little strange about this matter. It's not long before Poseidon and their three-party fierce conflict. Southwest of the ocean, that's where it is. The goddess pointed to a certain direction outside. There seemed to be a jolt. At that time, I vaguely heard that there seemed to be dozens of titans roaring, and the sound was very strange. Then Poseidon and the others fought on a small scale, and the sea was stained red with blood. I have noticed that the Red Sea water flows in that direction along the current. Quote. If it's the normal direction of water flow, it should be where all the sea water flows. But in my impression, only blood-stained seawater is left there. The meteor goddess was very distressed. Shaking his head, he seemed to be having a headache because he couldn't figure out the problem. Next to Poros, a ray of light suddenly flashed across the eyes. I lingered at the meteor goddess for a long time. Poros offered to leave. The meteor goddess insisted on keeping him. Let him spend more time with his daughter. In the end, Hecate directly chose to come out with Poros. Said to go to see Uncle Pallas together. Only then did the meteor goddess agree. Poros, I found that you have an unusual relationship with the goddess Athena. When we are about to return to the island where Athena and Prometheus are located. Hecate, who hadn't spoken much all the way, suddenly said to Poros. Why do you say that? Poros' eyes flashed. The girl in the brown skirt rolled her eyes and said, When I was in Hades, I noticed that when the two of you were not in front of me, they were both absent at the same time. Now God King sent Goddess Athena to monitor the ocean situation. 
But she's hanging out with you and His Highness Prometheus, and they're going to see Palace Uncle together. Come on, tell me the truth, what is the relationship between you two? I can take it. The girl acted like I don't care if you guys are having an affair without telling me. Poros curled his lips and glared at her. Oh, if I were to tell you the truth, Goddess Athena and I have fallen in love with each other. Are you really still like this? Hey, what do you think of me? Don't be matched up by my mother, it really means we have nothing to do with each other. And with the current atmosphere of the gods, we really have something. If you find a few more outside, there is nothing you cannot accept. Embarrassment flashed across the girl's cheeks. Then puffed out her cheeks, showing a strong appearance that is very feminine. Enough, what is the relationship between me and the goddess Athena, you will naturally know in the future. Okay then. After observing the expressions and reactions of Poros before and after, the Gia girl seemed to be relieved secretly. The reaction was more like there was a special reason why I couldn't say it, rather than that I was afraid that I would find out about adultery. Then what secret do they have? Forget it, this kind of problem is too complicated, even more difficult than studying root magic. The girl who likes to study, finally gave up on the relationship between people's reaction and psychological state. This question is very difficult for someone as smart as her. At this time they finally reached the island. From a distance, I saw Prometheus sitting alone on the ground, thinking about something. And glorious Athena. But he was talking with a soft and slender eye-catching girl with white wings. Poros recognized. This is Nicomon, the goddess of victory. Look, ahead is my father's hidden island. With white wings, beautiful and dignified, Nikki, the goddess of victory, exudes glory all over her body. Pointing at the remote island ahead, Poros and Hecate looked along. I saw the small island in front of me was deserted. There are hardly any vegetation and animals. There are only some withered and yellow grass growing vaguely. On the huge island, there is only one wooden house that looks crumbling. Towering near the northern beach, Hecate said in a daze, I seem to have come here once with my mother when I was a child, and it probably looked like this at that time. The faces of Prometheus and Athena behind were very calm. Both of them know the environment here. The goddess of victory, who was at the forefront, said to Poros. Father has not only fallen in personality since he returned from the Titan War and fell into the depths of the ocean. The whole person seemed to have suffered a curse, his appearance became haggard, and it even affected the vitality of the surrounding creatures, which is why the island is so barren. Quote. Poros nodded to her, thanking her for indeed explaining. 073, met along the way, and he roughly knew this sister's best girlfriend. This is a very interesting goddess. As the god who holds the special authority of, victory. Wherever she often stands, she can bring the glory of victory to her camp. But she chooses the camp, never relying on rational judgment. But by feeling. During the Titan War, her father Pallas was the commander of the Titan side. But she chose to side with Zeus. It's not that she likes Zeus so much, but her feeling tells her that she should choose this way. She listens to her heart. Then when Athena was born, she suddenly chose to be Athena's slave god. You must know that she has made a lot of contributions in the Titan War, if she hadn't interceded for her father. A veteran great god who can become one of the twelve main gods. At that time, Athena was just born, an immature girl who was alienated by the gods of Olympus. But she voluntarily became her subordinate god. Because that's what she feels inside. A girl who does things entirely by feeling. Here's what Poros said about her. He also found that his sister seemed to have faintly revealed his identity and what he was going to do to her. The goddess of victory was very indifferent doesn't seem to care about the possibility of betraying Olympus. Just looked at him many times along the way. She is probably looking for feelings again, to see if I am the one who makes her feel. Poros guessed so. Come to the wooden house on the edge of the island. Nikki hurriedly shouted from the front, Father, I brought some guests to see you. Prometheus also said behind, Old friend, come out and meet. Everyone is staring. That crumbling wooden house. Suddenly a crack opened. A figure staggered out. His face, withered like rotten wood, was exposed to the sunlight a little bit. Although it has been predicted. But when he actually saw it, Poirot was not a little surprised. Stepped out of the cabin. The posture is a bit stooped. 
The waist and back are clearly curved. The withered and wrinkled face that slowly emerged in the sun was like the bark of a weather-beaten old tree. The ravines are vertical and horizontal, rough and terrifying. Only a tall nose bridge and a broad forehead. And that pair of deep black, powerful eyes vaguely indicated that this was also a handsome young man with extraordinary appearance. But now, his hair is full of gray. The exposed hands and feet are also wrinkled like bark. But Rao is so. He still walked out of the house step by step, very resolutely. Deep black eyes saw the crowd on the edge of the island. With a haggard face, he said calmly, There are so many people here, and Prometheus, you old fellow. You were lucky not to be caught by Zeus two days ago. Quote. Wait for him to finish speaking in one breath. Prometheus walked over first and approached him, pointing to his pale face, showing him that only the third level personality of the main god is left. He sighed, I can escape this time, and the price I paid is not small. He, he no matter how expensive your price is, how much is my price for becoming like this? Pallas brought a few simple wooden benches from the side of the wooden house. The two sat down and chatted directly. Athena walked beside Nikki and also passed. Pallas uncle, long time no see. Daughter of Métis, your radiance is even brighter than last time. Pallas looked at Athena and said in a hoarse voice. Athena had come here with Nikki and met him briefly. The two didn't communicate much that time, but they both left a deep impression on each other. The goddess of victory pointed to Hecate and said. This is Hecate, the daughter of Uncle Perses and the goddess Asteria. Pallas' haggard face changed. He first sized up Hecate carefully with his deep black eyes, sighed in a low voice. When I first saw you, you were a little girl, but now you are so big. Hecate, I'm sorry for you. Quote, if you don't trust me, always listen to me. Perhaps Perseus would not have been imprisoned in Tartarus, and you would not have been born without a father. He bowed his head sadly to Hecate. The always bright brown skirt girl was a little at a loss. Pallas uncle, my mother and I didn't mean to blame you. Back then, my father voluntarily fought alongside you. Yeah, let's talk about it. Métis and I were the ones who designed to defeat you and capture Perses. Prometheus sighed beside him. Pallas, it's all over. The Titan God Court has long since perished, and the failure of the Titan War is not your responsibility. Quote. Maybe, but at least I'm the one who deserves to be in Tartarus. The haggard face of the God of War strategy is full of sadness. It was the only defeat in his life. The entire Titan God Court was buried. Let his father and brothers be thrown into Tartarus. Before that, they believed him that way. Because he is the undefeated myth of the Titan God Court. All the battles he commanded were never unsuccessful. But the only failure. Just lost everything. Until today, it has already become like this. He also couldn't let go. Prometheus, I said back then that you and Métis would not have good results if you followed Zeus. Is it a test now? He stared at his former opponent and best friend in front of him. Time passed. The honor and disgrace of the past have become quicksand at the fingertips. The persistence between the two of them disappeared. At this moment, the four eyes are facing each other. Can only show a wry smile at the same time. Zeus really deserves to be the son of Cronus, even more ruthless than Cronus. If fate hadn't brought me new opportunities, I should be locked on a high mountain now. In the future I predicted for myself, this is how it is. Prometheus sighed and looked at Poros beside him. Pallas also looked along. He seemed to realize something. Suddenly she said to her daughter, Nikki, the box in my room contained some belongings of purses back then. Take Hecate to have a look. The goddess of victory nodded. Pulling Hecate, who was full of curiosity, to the wooden house behind. Wait for them to leave. With a haggard and frightening face, Pallas asked Poros in a deep voice 0 0.8. Don't know who this is yet. Poros looked at him with a smile. My name is Poros. His current identity is the youngest son of Nyx, the goddess of the night, and a student of Mr. Prometheus. Oh, what is your current status? Pallas's dark eyes stared deeply at him. Poros smiled lightly and said, It's the first time we meet, the god of war strategy, it's better not to understand too clearly. Pallas, with gray hair and a rotten face, laughed abruptly. Because of his hoarse voice, this laughter seemed a little scary. He stared at the three people in front of him for a moment. Suddenly whispered, 
You are together, what are you looking for me for? The thing to do is actually very simple. Poros, Prometheus, and Athena looked at each other. All three of them had smiles on their faces. I hope that the former Titan's brain will come forward and call the Titan gods scattered in the world to join us. Subvert Olympus and create a new court of God. Cough cough. Pallas coughed violently twice. His dark eyes stared closely at the three figures who were all smiling. After being silent for a while, he slowly said to Poros. Do you know what you just said? Poros smiled brightly. I said, please come out of the mountain and summon the remaining Titan gods. Let's subvert Olympus and create a new god's court together. Quote. Listen to Poros repeating it again. Pallas's cheeks were as haggard as old bark. Lift up slowly. Young god, this joke is not funny at all. But I'm definitely not joking. Poros stared into Pallas' dark eyes. The latter also looked at his silver eyes as deep as the starry sky, and saw the seriousness in them. He let out a long breath. The brain of the former titan slowly swept across the three people in front of him again. Prometheus, the prophet Prometheus, one of the founders of the three generations of gods, who was a traitor to Titan in the past. Athena, the daughter of Zeus, the most shining pearl of Olympus, the goddess of wisdom and war. Quote. And you, the young god who doesn't know what your true identity is. Such ingredients, such composition. Pallas lowered his hoarse voice as much as possible, and looked closely at the three figures in front of him. You run in front of me and let me, a useless person, go with you to subvert the current court of God. Don't you think it's abrupt, rude, and scary? Of course it is for the average person. Poros had a smile on his lips. But his royal highness palace is the brain of the titans, the god of war strategies, and the legend of the undefeated titans. It can be seen that you seem to be the leader among these three people. After hesitating for a while, Pallas looked into his dark eyes. He carefully looked at the three people in front of him again, and finally landed on Poros. Prometheus and Athena smiled, did not speak, agreed with his words. Pallas continued, what happened in the past two days was very dynamic, and I am aware of it. Now that you guys are in front of me, I just have one question. Quote. Are you that? Fire thief. Poros smiled even wider. Your Highness Pallas, you really never let go of your former glory, and you are very concerned about the affairs of the outside world. As for the fire thief, Poros looked around at the sky, the sea, the islands. Then look around Prometheus, Athena, and finally Pallas. We are all, all. Pallas was a little taken aback. Slowly raised his rough and wrinkled hands, and stroked his cheeks full of gullies. The feeling of hardness and haggardness made him lose his mind. It turns out that the so-called fire stealing refers to Wang Quan who captured Olympus. But young man, do you know how difficult it is to accomplish this goal? He lowered his hands and raised his face full of scars and ravines. Although Zeus can't be called a great king, compared to his previous two predecessors. The current rule of the Olympus god court is undoubtedly too stable. Quote. Whether it is the first generation of shedding or the second generation, the fundamental reason why it will be subverted. All the god kings were violent, and the god queen and her children rebelled, fundamentally dismantling the rule of the god court. Quote. But Olympus is different. Pallas' voice suddenly became very loud. Although he still looked decayed and haggard, at this moment his eyes were dark. Become extra rich and sharp. Wrinkled fingers gestured in the air. He seems to be in the vast battlefield of the gods, commanding thousands of gods. The body is extremely sharp and aggressive. The first generation of gods was Gaia, the mother of the earth, and the twelve titans including Cronus, who overthrew Uranus. The second generation of Shenting, the godmother Rhea was behind the scenes, and the six brothers and sisters of Zeus were able to rise step by step. But now you can get Hera to help you. Can Hermes, Ares, Apollo, Artemis, and Hephaestus, all the children of Zeus, rebel with you? After a pause, he shook his head first. This is where Zeus is deep. The main reason for the demise of the first two generations of god courts was that the status of the god empress was too high. The god king has only one wife, and all the children come from one of them. Therefore, Gaia and Rhea can cause chaos among the twelve titans and the six brothers of Zeus. Quote. But Zeus seems absurd, and Hera's repeated rape is a big joke in the court of God. But all the powerful children he has made, 
all of which are not from the same mother. Indulging Hera to persecute them everywhere, causing conflicts, causing the fourth generation of Olympus gods to not deal with each other. Divided lovers, children, this is the greatest means of Zeus's rule. Quote. Because no one can make his lovers and sons and daughters who are full of conflicts gather together to rebel against him. Pallas' words silenced the three of Poros. That is the truth. The city of Zeus is much more powerful than the two predecessors Uranus and Cronus. At the time of the first generation of gods, the twelve titans are all brothers and sisters, and their relationship with each other is extremely good. In the end Gaia instigated, Cronus took the lead, and immediately made Uranus and his father laugh. During the second generation of Shedding, with the help of godmother Rhea, the six brothers and sisters of Zeus, also united as one, united against Cronus. Finally overthrow the court of Titans. But now the court of God. Who can make those lovers and children of Zeus unite to rebel against him? Gather them together, and the chances of fighting each other are greater. Because the first two generations of gods were born from the same mother. And now Zeus's children are not a mother. The existence of the Queen Hera played a key role in this. She stared at Zeus all day long. But Zeus can always give birth to a child with her lover without telling her. Then often the plot is that Hera persecuted the lover and persecuted those children. Zeus is secretly helping. In the end, the child grows up and becomes a powerful god, beating Hera in the face. In the end, Zeus came forward to reconcile the relationship between Hera and them. But the seeds of hatred have long been planted. No matter how you look at it, there is a problem. Could it be that Zeus really couldn't do anything to Hera? Hera was able to catch rape successfully every time, but never prevented success beforehand. Instead, they persecuted orphans and widows after the fact. At that time, Zeus was often gone. He didn't appear until the persecuted lover's children hated Hera deeply. Thinking about it carefully, it is clear that one is singing a bad face and the other is singing a bad face. But the king of the gods used this method to create a lot of contradictions. Let many wives and children be hostile to each other. And he sat on it and watched the play. Compare. The set of checks and balances played by Hades. It is inferior to his brothers too much. No wonder he ended up in the desolate place of Hades. Poros smiled. Zeus' scheming is certainly not to be underestimated, but no matter how many schemes and tricks there are, it is not the right way of the king of the gods. He's so absorbed in playing tricks that he's fallen behind. I've never been afraid of him. A gleam of approval flashed in Pallas' eyes. I'm very pleased that you see through this. A real king shouldn't hide himself by doing such treacherous tricks. But I tell you this so that you can understand. The difficulty of overthrowing Zeus is far greater than overthrowing Uranus and Cronus. And you're missing another key element. You mean. Mother Earth. Pallas's dark eyes suddenly flashed a cold light. Heard the name mentioned again. Poros, Athena, and Prometheus all looked dignified at the same time. The rise of the three generations of gods has never left the original brand of the common grandmother of the gods, who is in charge of the Earth. Cronus and Zeus both received her support before finally becoming the king of the gods. In the current situation, she has not broken with Zeus. Pallas focused on Poros. You just said that you are now the youngest son of the goddess Nyx. Although the goddess Nyx is also the original, she lives deep in the underworld. The influence on the gods is far less than that of the Earth Mother. Quote. Poros nodded. Existing gods. They are basically descendants of the Earth Mother. Ruler of sky, earth, sea, Hades. Either her son or her grandson. It is impossible for anyone to have more influence than this mother earth. I don't know if you have paid attention to the current ocean war situation. Pallas asked suddenly. The three of Poros looked at each other. It seems that you, your highness Pallas, also think that this is being manipulated by someone. Not only is there someone, that person must be earth mother. Pallas looked at the ocean and said in a bewildered manner. Prometheus asked curiously, Pallas, you have lived in the ocean for a long time, what did you discover, so you are so sure? What discovery? Pallas suddenly laughed. The laughter was hoarse and inexplicable. First, he pointed to his withered and decayed self, pointing to a certain direction of the ocean from afar. Following his pointing, Poros frowned. As Pallas pointed out, it was exactly what the meteor goddess had said to him before, 
that there was a vibration, and then the direction in which blood flowed. Pallas knows where to. Then he pointed at the withered body first, what did he mean? An astonishing idea suddenly appeared in Poros' mind. God of War strategy, after the Titan War, you fell into the depths of the ocean, and after you came back, you became what you are now. Is that where it fell at that time? He followed that direction, darkened. Pallas turned abruptly and gave him a deep look. So you know something too. That's easy. Prometheus and Athena looked at them rather strangely. Suddenly, Pallati struggled to straighten 63's back. The ravine-ridden face turned solemnly towards Poros. As for your true identity, I suddenly had some guesses, and I don't know if it's right. But it doesn't matter, you want me to go out and help you, right? Poros nodded. Very well, I agree. What Pallas said surprised and puzzled the three of Poros. Pallas, you have decided so quickly. Prometheus couldn't believe it. Pallas' rough and ugly face suddenly approached Poros. The two were less than half an arm's length apart. Poros could clearly see every rough, scar-like furrow in his face. You came to me because you knew about my past reputation and deeds. Do you know what I can do for you? Without waiting for Poros to answer. Pallas said proudly, the current titans. Gods are scattered all over the world, but there are two great gatherings. One is the ocean gods of Arnolds of Russia, which is one of the three major camps of the ocean, and its strength is not inferior to that of the Poseidon camp. One is the astral pantheon of my brother Astrios, lord of the stars. He is the father of the stars, and the starry sky god system is almost semi-independent outside the divine court. He did not participate in the Titan War, and Zeus has been in power for so many years, and he has never been able to get his hands on the starry sky. I can convince my brother to lead the entire starry sky god system to join you. It can also make the entire ocean god system fall into your hands after this ocean battle is over. Based on this, I can lay down the entire ocean for you. Pallas confident and proud words. The three of Poros were surprised. The starry sky god system, the ocean god system, and the two major god systems on the independent side of Shenting. The three Zeus brothers have been coveting for many years. But they have not been able to win O.C.E. Arnolds, the lord of the ocean, and Astrius, the lord of the stars. But in the mouth of this titan brain. But it seems to be at your fingertips. He also vowed to take down the entire ocean. What a big tone, what a big confidence. It fully shows the courage of a generation of undefeated titans. My lord Pallas, your words are astonishing. There was silence for a while, Poros said slowly. I never talk big. Pallas looked at him resolutely. The starry sky and the ocean together make up one third of the world. I offer you this third of the world as a gift. As long as you promise me one condition. A condition. One third of the world. Pallas' amazing words are enough to move all the gods in the world. Poros frowned tightly. Prometheus and Athena also had solemn faces. Your Highness Pallas, I don't know what your conditions are. Finally, Poros questioned. Pallas looked in the direction he had pointed again. He said to the three, you may have heard about what happened to me after I lost the Titan War. Athena said, your Highness Pallas, you were thrown into the depths of the ocean during the Titan War. It didn't reappear until Olympus was established, but I don't know what happened, and it became what it is now. What happened to me, this is probably one of the unsolved mysteries of the gods. Pallas suddenly laughed at himself. Those dark eyes became very deep. While pondering, he slowly said, When I fell from the sky, I fell into a faint on the spot. When I woke up again, I found myself on a small island I had never seen before. Prometheus, you know that geography is also a key factor in determining victory or defeat. I have always been clear about all the geographical environments of the sky, the earth, the sea and even the underworld. But I never knew there was such a small island in the ocean. Quote. While speaking, Pallas' words trembled slightly. This made the three of Poros extremely dignified. Just now he boasted that he could dedicate one-third of the world's existence at will. At this moment, because of the mention of a small island, his voice trembled. They all watched Pallas closely. With profound eyes, the god of war strategy said slowly. The scene of that island, I may never forget it for the rest of my life. The sky there is an orange dusk, and the earth is a bright red. The two together form a strange and peaceful picture scroll. Quote. 
When it comes to the word, peace, his tone obviously increased. Gives a sense of shock. Serenity is by no means an exaggerated description, but the most authentic expression there. Pallas emphasized. The three poros nodded. The reason for saying that. The whole island is as quiet as a dead life, silent and dead. I woke up and was taken aback by the atmosphere there. I was worried about the unfinished Titan War, so I wanted to leave as soon as possible. Quote. Having said this, he paused, his eyes became very dignified. Following the blood red and bright earth, I found a direction to leave. But what appeared in front of me was. Many towering red titans. Red titans. Prometheus' expression changed. I seem to have heard of this titan somewhere. Pallas looked at him and spat out a name, Gigantes. Hear the name. Prometheus nodded immediately. Yes, that's the name. I once heard my father mention. He is the eldest son of the first god King Uranus. It was born as early as the ignorant age before the establishment of the first god court. Witnessed the establishment of the first generation of gods. Quote. He told me that the establishment of the first generation of gods was very difficult. The age of ignorance was far from being as desolate as the later gods imagined, but a magnificent era. The first god king and the earth mother worked hard to defeat the original gods and establish the first god court. And in the process, some red titans called Gigantes. It has been a huge help to them. Poros on the side frowned silently in his heart. He had also heard of the creature, Gigantes, in Greek mythology. It is said that this is a special kind of titan. It is generally considered to be the birth of Uranus and Gaia, and there are dozens to hundreds of them. They later rebelled against the gods of Olympus. Zeus and Zeus broke out the most magnificent battle of Gigantes since the Titan Wars. It took a lot of effort to completely wipe out this kind of Titan. Now do as Prometheus said. The so-called, Gigantes, does not seem to be born of Uranus and Gaia. But it did work for them. Prometheus continued. But after the establishment of the first gods, the, Gigantes, disappeared. My father suspected that it was the first generation of God King and Earth Mother who executed them. Quote. Because Guigance is an unknown life. That's right, I took the test many times later. Compare what you see and hear on the island, and judge those red titans. It is consistent with the characteristics of, Guigance, who only left a few words in the history of the establishment of the first gods. After the establishment of the first generation of gods, they were not executed, but were placed on that island and fell into a strange sleep. After Prometheus finished speaking, Pallas said solemnly. But some people want to wake them up. I saw. The bright red land on the island is dyed with countless blood, it seems to be breeding or offering sacrifices. The titan war broke out outside, and blood flowed. That island emits a suction force, sucking the blood of the gods flowing all over the world into it. What? The three of Poros glanced at each other sharply. What Pallas said was astonishing. The island where the Guigants are sleeping. It was dyed red with the blood of the gods. Lenovo Meteor Goddess described. Could it be that the current ocean war is also for the same purpose? Need enough blood of the gods. Into that island. And all of this is most likely done by Earth Mother Gaia. What is her purpose? The three looked closely at Pallas. A complex expression appeared on the latter's haggard face. Like crying, but also like laughing. I was also stunned at the time, and I wanted to investigate further. But I don't want the sleeping Gigantes next to him to roar loudly. He woke up, his face was ferocious, and a strange red glow shrouded me from his tall body. And then, I fell unconscious. When I wake up again, it will already be what it is now. Pallas touched his ravenous cheek again. Hard to imagine. What is the power? It can make a heroic seventh level main god into what he is now. Divine power also fell directly to the Median god. Poros and Athena, both in my heart. Just now when Prometheus talked about Guigans. His father Iopetus once said. Gigantes is an unknown life. Prometheus frowned at this moment and said. If the waking Guigans made you like this, why did he let you out? I don't think he let me go. Pallas said in a deep voice, with memories in his eyes. I can feel that there are not only Guigants and strange things with sucked blood on that island, but also other hidden secrets. Before falling into a coma, I seemed to see faintly. It was another inexplicable force of chaos that took me away from Guigants. Quote. 
And then it sent me out. In the days that followed, an impulse always appeared in my heart from time to time. I want to go to that island again, as if something is calling me. Bitterness appeared in palace eyes. But I can't go there a second time, not because I don't have the courage. It's this body that seems to be resisting me going. He raised his wrinkled arms. Still facing that direction. Whenever I wanted to go there, my limbs would involuntarily fall back. There seems to be a repulsive force that prevents me from going in that direction. Quote. So, the condition you want me to agree to is. Poros said. I want you to go to that island for me and unlock its secrets. Pallas replied. Poros smiled and was about to speak. Athena stopped him, no, if it is true as Pallas said, then the island hides dangers. It is enough to make any gods under the primordial state unable to get out after entering. You can't go there. Poros took her arm, sister, you actually realized it. It's not a matter of whether I'm going there or not now. It was the ocean war that broke out, and a large amount of divine blood was sucked there. If all this is a conspiracy prepared for countless years, perhaps it has reached the last moment. And it was the Earth Mother Gaia. The four people present spit out the name at the same time. Vuigance was once the weapon of Uranus and Gaia. Appeared on that island now. And the suction there draws the blood of the gods' king's good in battle. Reminiscent of the past dynasties, the major wars in shedding almost all involved the participation of this Earth Mother. What lies behind this, how can it not be terrifying? The common grandmother of almost all gods, Gaia, the Earth Mother. They are constantly using the lives of the gods. Do some terrible plans. The replacement of three generations of gods, numerous wars. May have something to do with it. What the hell is she doing? As you can imagine, this is definitely a shocking thing. But sister, don't worry, I'm not going in by myself. Poros smiled and formed a figure beside him. Pallas was surprised for a while. According to what you said, your highness Pallas, the island is dead. You were not in any danger before the Higante's attack. Quote. Then although my shadow is fragile, it can also be used as an investigation. But maybe we can tell this to another person just in case. During the speech, she was in the wooden house. Hecate, I want to ask you to go. Go back to Hades and give this note to Goddess Nyx. Ah, Poros, are you doing this to me? Hecate walked out of it, dazed and angry. I just let myself run from Hades to the ocean the other day. Now I have to go to Hades by myself. HMPH, you are too much. In the end, Hecate went to Hades to deliver the message. After she left, Poros asked, His Royal Highness Palace, please mark the exact location of that island for me. He produced a map of the ocean. Looking at the map, Pallas laughed. I sent someone to draw this map for the convenience of combat. I didn't expect that after so many years, the gods still use it, don't you worry that many geographical environments have changed. Zeus didn't have the wisdom to think of such a thing. Prometheus smiled. Watch as Pallas marks a red dot on the map. Poros nodded. Then let's go to the vicinity of the island first. Pallas couldn't go. In the end, the four of Poros went together. Nikki, goddess of victory on the road, asks Poros. Father, has he agreed to join us? Athena nodded to her. Well, I know that my father has been thinking about it all these years, and he is not willing to hide from the world. The radiant girl pouted. In my childhood memory, he is the myth of being undefeated and commanding thousands of troops on the battlefield. Even if it becomes what it is now, nothing can break him down. Goddess Nikki, maybe we can find a way to restore him during this exploration. Poros smiled at her. The girl with white wings nodded slightly. Poros, you are a good god. I think if you become a god king in the future, you must be better than Zeus. Poros felt a choke. Goddess, do you think I'm a good god? Oh, what are you doing so much? Feeling tells me that you are a good person, and eyes also tell me that you are very good looking, 313 so of course you are a good god. Quote. The goddess of victory told him very seriously. Athena couldn't help laughing behind her. Athena, why are you laughing? The god queens of the god kings of all dynasties are all sisters, but I think if Poros becomes the god king. Hecate is more likely to be her god queen than you, and you are almost out of chance, still laughing. Nikki jumped at her and stared at her. The goddess of victory speaks boldly and directly. 
Nikki, what nonsense are you talking about? It made Athena, who has always been solemn, her dignified face flushed like never before. Turn your face away. Poros was also taken aback. Then looked to Prometheus. The great prophet suddenly remembered that when he saw the siblings for the first time. He seems to have said something similar. But Poros was still very small at that time. Immediately he coughed dryly and said, the front is almost there. Poros restrains the spirit, looking down at the water below. While staring with the mysterious eyes, he clearly saw the depths of the nearby sea water, with bright red and other colors of blood. Most of the blood of the gods is also red. Only some gods with special attributes will have different blood colors. Such as Poros and Athena, and even Zeus. All are golden divine blood. Hecate's blood is purple. The blood of Thanatos, the god of death, is black. But at this moment, the red color is mainly mixed with the divine blood of various colors. It is turbulently gathering in the depths of the sea. There seems to be a force to cover them up. Concentrate all the blood in the deep sea, thousands of feet away from the sea surface. If it is not intentional detection, it's impossible to find them there. Beth Poros searched carefully with mystic eyes. It was found that all the divine blood in all directions flowed to the same central point. Hey, why is there no island? Pallas can't be wrong. Prometheus looked at the map marked by Pallas and looked at the empty sea in front of him, feeling a little puzzled. Poros stared at the past, his eyes flashed for a moment and deepened. Teacher, his royal highness Pallas is not mistaken. Right here, the mysterious eye was shining brightly, and Poros stared deeply ahead. In the distance, the place where many gods and blood gather. Suddenly there was a bright and strange island, slowly appearing in his eyes. If my guess is correct, this island is actually similar to Hades in relation to the earth, sea, and sky. It looks like it is on the sea, but it is actually an independent space. Quote. Listen to what Poros has to say. The three of Prometheus understood. The Greek world is composed of four main parts. Sky, earth, sea and Hades. Among them, the sky, the earth, and the ocean are all derived from the earth mother Gaia. Connected to each other. And only Hades. Although it can be reached directly by digging into the ground. But Hades is not actually under the earth. It is a world of its own. The islands here are written similarly. The surface is on the ocean, but actually it is already another space and world. Reminder from Poros. Prometheus, Athena, and Nikki all use spiritual perception. The three of them are the main gods, and they soon discovered that something was wrong in the space ahead. Okay, I'm going to start investigating. In order to prevent accidents, everyone stay away. Quote. Looking ahead. Poros condensed into a shadow. The real body and Prometheus all spread out to the outside. Staring from afar, the shadow of Poros moved forward along the flow of the divine blood on the seabed. Suddenly, the space rippled for a while. Vision becomes blurred. When Poros opened his eyes again, I found myself stepping on a brightly colored earth. There is a faint smell of blood coming from the soil on the ground. Look up. A round of dim sunset hangs in the sky. The whole sky is orange. Gives people an inexplicable depressing atmosphere. As Pallas said, it seems I made it in. The shadow body tried to contact the main body outside, and found that the connection between them was not isolated. It seems that I'm overthinking, there's nothing special here, and there's no way to cut off the connection between my avatar and the outside world. Take a breath. Poros began to observe the surroundings. He was very cautious at first. After all, the shadow body is very fragile, and its combat power may not even be as good as that of a lower god. If you haven't detected anything yet, you will accidentally startle an unknown creature and step on it to death. That's wrong, although the death of the shadow body has no effect on the real body. But it will take some time to get together again. Now ocean wars may erupt almost instantly. There isn't that much time left. Walked for a while on the brightly colored land. Poros found that it was indeed as described by Pallas. It's peaceful here. It was extremely quiet. Although a lot of weeds and trees grew on the ground, there was no breeze at all. The huge island is completely like a dead person who has passed away. Not breathing. Walked carefully for a while. Poros found nothing. Eyeball rolled. He sniffed the bloody smell on the brightly colored earth with his nose. That direction has the strongest smell, 
and all the blood that flows into this island should end up there. Poros followed the scent, head in that direction. He was still very careful along the way, but still nothing. Surrounded by barren weeds and trees, the brightly colored land exudes a strange atmosphere. The weird thing is, it has been a long time since he came to this island. But the setting sun hanging in the sky did not move at all. It was still the same twilight as when I first came here. It's depressing. It took a long time to go. Poros finally saw something different. That's a titan. Red titan. Guigans. Poros called out the name of the opponent's race in his mind. I saw the orange sunset. Dim light reflected on the empty island. One is as high as hundreds of feet, like a hill. A tall titan with tense muscles and skin as red as magma. Like a majestic stone statue that has survived for thousands of years. Standing quietly under the dusk. His huge eyes were tightly closed. As if in a deep sleep. Poros didn't dare to disturb him. Fortunately, the shadow body condensed by, shadow of no shadow, also has the ability of, shadow of no shadow, to hide aura. He restrained all his aura early on. After a little observation of this red titan. Just slowly go deeper. Joyfully, he saw the second Guigans. He was much taller than the first one, and he was sleeping like a statue. Go deeper. Poros soon saw the third, the fourth, the fifth Gigantes, and more to follow. These red eyes. The short ones have just reached a hundred feet, and the tall ones are over a thousand feet tall. All of them closed their eyes and slept like statues on the island. Poros made a rough count. Along the way, he saw at least dozens of Guigans. If every Guigans can be like the one that Pallas encountered, it can abolish a 7th level main god at will. Then release all the Guigans on this island, wouldn't it be possible to hang the gods in an instant unless a few original ones make a move? Poros was startled. Not to mention Higante's ability to cripple Pallas' personality. Just dozens of main god level combat powers can shake the world. He was secretly startled. Finally reached the depths of the island. Suddenly, a huge altar appeared before his eyes. Altar. Poros' eyes widened, and he swept forward tightly. Smelling suddenly, a strong smell of blood came from there. Is this where all the blood of the gods finally gathered? Poros asked in amazement. He was about to take a closer look. Suddenly, he found a gigantic gigante standing in the four directions of the altar. The four red titans as tall as mountains are like four indestructible portals. They were guarded in front of the altar. Unlike other Guigans who are like statues. These four Guigans. There are faint ups and downs in the nose. They are all breathing. They are all awake. Feel the breath of the four Guigans, though slight, but obviously there. Poros carefully restrained the aura of this shadow body to the limit. Slowly approaching the huge altar in front of him. Just slightly closer. He felt a strong smell of blood sweeping over him. A huge altar ahead. The whole body is black and square. The height is half the height of the surrounding four Guigans. From a distance, it looks like a neat square mountain peak. Take a closer look. Poros found it more like a container. There is a pond on it. The divine blood attracted from the outside was all concentrated in that pool. The whole pool is mainly bright red. Other colorful divine blood is intricate. You see, this proves that things like confessing relatives by dripping blood are unreliable. The bloodlines of the gods are all related. But together, is not blending. In the oppressive atmosphere, Poros eased his emotions in this way. Pass through the gaps around the four red titans step by step. Come to the altar. Follow the steps in the middle and walk step by step to the place near the pool of divine blood. I saw it clearly. More than half of the large pool that is tens of feet long is already full. Only the last few, can be full. What will happen if this pool is full? Poros couldn't help asking in his heart. Suddenly, he saw the center of the pool in front of him. There is a huge ball of light impressively. Accompanied by the surging inflow of divine blood in the pool. There was a faint glow on it. Poros noticed suddenly. The radiance seemed to be guided by some force to the surrounding Guigans. When illuminated by light, except for the four breathing Guigans next to it. Other gigantes like statues. They all seemed to have become more lively. It was like being awakened little by little in a long deep sleep. Is this for awakening Guigans? Poros noticed early on. The reason why there are so many Guigans here is like a statue. 
It seems to be sealed by some inexplicable force. This is all sleeping like a statue. The reason why the four statues around the altar have now recovered. It seems that it is also because of the closeness, which is more illuminated by the light ball. Earth Mother wants to awaken Guigans as a fighting power. Poros flashed the thought. At this time, he suddenly frowned. His eyes were fixed on the sky above the light group in front of him. It was empty, but it reminded him of the feeling when he was outside and couldn't find the island. The ball of light is connected to another hidden space. Poros was surprised. After thinking about it, he floated above the blood pool. Slowly approach the ball of light. But at this moment, there are four Guigants stationed beside the altar in the rear. Suddenly issued a shocking roar. Well, found out. Poros' expression changed. Only then did he realize that as he approached, the light emitted by the ball of light changed a little color. The four Guigants in the rear were also pleasantly surprised and opened their closed eyes. Turning around with a growl, Poros gritted his teeth, pounced directly on the huge ball of light. The ball of light shook. A chaotic space suddenly rippled out. But there seems to be a force in that space that is resisting the light sphere, and the connection is looming. Pallas says he was rescued by some chaotic force, is that it? Staring at the space filled with chaos, Poros flashed the thought. Thinking about rushing inside, unexpectedly, the four Guigants in the rear roared at the setting sun in the sky. A bright red light, it fell from the void and wrapped him heavily. Pallas should have been discovered before he reached the altar. You can save him from such a distance. Why didn't you save me this time? Shrouded in bright light, Poro's fragile shadow quickly began to decay. But the chaotic power in the space in front of him didn't react at all. Swearing, the figure of Poros was engulfed by the bright red glow on the spot and vanished into thin air. Then the red light slowly disappeared into the air. The four Guigants looked at the light ball in the blood pool and returned to normal. With a stiff expression, he walked back to the original place. Close your eyes again. It's like unnecessary actions, which are a huge burden for them. My shadow body is dead. On the outer ocean, Poros opened his eyes and looked at the three Athenas around him. He told them in detail what he had seen and heard on the island. After thinking about it for a while, he finally said, I was enveloped by the strange red light emitted by Guigants, and I felt full of strange symptoms. First, the body is rapidly decaying, and the divine power is also exhausted, as if the vitality and energy are exhausted. Quote. This is consistent with father's situation. Nikki said. But it's a pity that my shadow body does not have the former personality of his royal highness palace. After being photographed, I died without even ashes left. Poro smiled. The red light emitted by Guigants, I feel that if the personality reaches the ninth level of the main god. Divine power, authority, will, and divine body are condensed into a point, and they have the ability to resist. If the main god is below the ninth level, if you encounter it, the higher the personality, the stronger the resistance will be. But if you can't escape in time, I'm afraid the end will not be much better. The situation of his royal highness palace is considered good. Quote. Recalling the feeling before the shadow body died, Poros warns the three. Of the three gods in front of me, Athena, the highest among them, is only the eighth rank of the main god. If you encounter Guigants, if you don't escape in time, I'm afraid the result will not be very good. Of course, the four Guigants I encountered were all as tall as a thousand feet. Judging from the size, you know that it is the most powerful. The smaller Guigants outside may not be as scary as they are. Call. Speaking of the ninth level of the main god, I was photographed just now, and I tasted the taste of death. My will has been somewhat sublimated, and there is a faint tendency to merge with the divine body, authority, and divine power. It seems that it is not far from reaching the ninth level of the main god. Quote. Get a feel for your state. Poros looked a little weird. The killing of the shadow body gave him an opportunity to be promoted. If it is like this. He hoped that the shadow body would die a few more times. Anyway, the combat power is zero, so it is deceiving. But in the end, what is the space filled with chaotic forces? Judging from the investigation situation, Gaia collected so much divine blood to nourish that ball of light. One is to awaken the surrounding Guigans. Another purpose is to connect the chaotic space. Quote. The latter purpose may be less important than the former. 
That space may not be connected to the island, but it seems that the power of the ball of light is trying to open it forcibly. After careful analysis, Poros found something that he didn't expect at the time. But more questions arose. Why did Gaia go to great lengths to connect the chaotic space? The power in that space had saved Pallas at the beginning, why didn't it respond now? Poros was deep in thought. He was about to go back with the three of Athena first. His shadow body is dead, and it will take a while to recondense. There's no point in staying here now. Unless you want to go in and try it yourself. After tasting the red light emitted by the four Guigans, Poros judged that the Lord God would be able to resist at the ninth level. With the blessing of the Supreme Heart, he can also have the ninth level personality of the main God. Combined with the power of the King of Destruction, fighting with it is not without chance of winning. But who knows if there are other dangers on that island. It's better not to mess around. Just when he was about to go home, a familiar figure suddenly appeared on the distant sea. Hecate, why did you come here? I thought you would stay with His Royal Highness Palace first when you come back. By the way, Goddess Nyx already knows about this place, right? Poros went to meet Hecate. Unexpectedly, the girl in the brown skirt suddenly showed a sweet smile on the corner of her mouth. Of course I already know. Poros and even Athena, Prometheus, and Nikki in the rear. His face was shocked. He looked at the young girl in a brown skirt in surprise. You, dot you are. My child, why has he been out for a long time, and he doesn't know his mother anymore? Hecate, stepped forward with a smile. Playfully caressed Poros' cheek with his slender palm. This movement, this face, made Poros feel uncomfortable. But he didn't dare to escape. Because the person in front of him is not Hecate at all, but. Night Goddess Nyx. I was afraid that Gaia would find out, but you guys discovered her little secret and told me about it secretly. So borrow Hecate's body and go out for a stroll. If you miss her, ask her to come out and say hi. Quote. As, Hecate, caressed Poros' cheek, his demeanor suddenly changed. Wow, Poros, since you grew up, I haven't touched your face for a long time, and today I finally got the chance. Quote. The face of the girl in the brown skirt in front of her suddenly jumped into a smile. Looking at the palm of his hand on Poro's face, he winked at him. Poro stepped back, glanced at Athena and Prometheus. All three were very surprised. Nyx, the goddess of the night, uses Hecate's body to walk out of Hades. Be here in person. Don't stay here, take me to see the island ahead. The expression of, Hecate, suddenly changed again. Without the frivolity just now, the whole person is like a dark knight. Watching her stride towards the direction of the island, Poros said loudly, Goddess, there are many Guigants in this island, and there are still unknown secrets connected. You are not here in real body, if you go in rashly, you may be in danger. Quote. Hecate, turned her head and smiled at him. Children should not think that they will be more capable when they grow up. I watched the battle between you and Zeus last time, forcibly containing the power of the source, you probably did have more combat power than the original at that time. Quote. But the personality of the original god, is it so simple? You who haven't really arrived, don't understand. He looked up at the sea ahead. Hecate, spread out her slender palm. Suddenly, a large night full of stars appeared in her palm. Fly out of the brightly colored island that envelops it. Like an invisible giant hand, it is firmly grasped. The original is the source, it is the original that constitutes the world, not the world that creates the original. For us, there is no specific form, and we exist everywhere in this vast world. I am the goddess of the night, so any place shrouded by night. Everything has the meaning of my true body. The voice of, Hecate, fell. The thick night full of stars completely enveloped the surrounding ocean. A kind of quiet, sleeping, secret, and profound power reverberates in the void. Prometheus beside Poros stared around. The body trembled a little. Goddess Nyx, the root power you exert is very different from what I have realized. The root I see is the source, the eternal, the only. But the root power you are showing now not only has these characteristics, but also is full of countless changes, derivatives, and systems. Hecate, glanced at the old prophet. He said lightly, with a personality that is not as high as the main god, you can comprehend the mystery of the root. 
Son of Iapetus, your gifts are not good. Quote. But you who have only touched the mystery of the root position, how can you understand the level of my root law position? It's better to mend the damaged divine body first, and then think of a way to reach the ninth level of the main god. If you have the qualifications to be promoted to the original, then think about it. Prometheus bowed his head. Horus couldn't help asking, Goddess, you mentioned the primordial position and the legal position. Is this the original division of personality? Hecate, whose body was full of peaceful starlight in the sky, nodded slightly. Just as the main god has nine levels, the original personality can be roughly divided into four levels. The root primary position is the most basic original person, followed by the root law position. Quote. So you children, don't have some skills, claiming that you can compare to the original, and just want to challenge us old guys. You know, whether it's me, Erebus, or Gaia, they are all root laws. Ruoyu glanced at him. Hecate, shrouded in the starry night, danced with his hands. The space in front of her was easily erased by her slender fingers. The brightly colored islands shrouded in dusk inside seemed to have been fished out of a different space. Watching this scene, Poros was secretly startled. The primordial position of the source, the legal position of the source. Whether it's me from the Caucasus Mountains or Zeus, they are probably just the original ones with comparable combat power. As for the existing primordials, each of them is an old primordial that existed at the beginning of the world, and none of them are root primordials. Quote. Anyone who thinks that the combat power can be compared to the original one, and runs to challenge them, is afraid that they will die in an ugly way. Thinking like this, he followed the footsteps of Hecate closely. Soon, they appeared on islands of brightly colored mud. But at this moment, with the shroud of night, the original eternal twilight disappeared. The entire dead island is immersed in the starry night. Hecate walked in the front. She didn't need Poros to point the way, she quickly found the location of the altar. Many Guigans appeared along the road. The goddess rolled her eyes. The voice murmured softly, it really is them. The goddess is familiar with these gigantes. Poros asked. They were the weapons used to fight us back then. A glimmer of darkness flashed across the pupils of Hecate. It seems to be reminiscing about something. That was a long time ago when the world was created, and now you gods like to call it the age of ignorance. But that era was not ignorant at all. There were many powerful gods, even primitive ones. There are also many contradictions between us, and many wars have been waged. In the end it was an accident that brought about the end of the age of savagery. Only Uranus and Gaia benefit the most. Became the master of the gods who ruled the entire world. I, Erebus, and Tartarus had no choice but to enter Hades. Quote. The goddess looked at the many Guigants around her, her eyes suddenly turned cold. These big red men have a huge relationship with the destruction of the Savage Age. Gaia and Uranus used them to win the final victory. Quote. But it's not them themselves that are dangerous, but what's behind them. After she finished speaking, she added. The filthy light they have is indeed a bit of a threat to the gods who have not reached the peak of the main god. As she narrates, at the altar in the distance, it is sensed that an outsider has entered. The 4,000-foot-tall Guigants suddenly opened their eyes. Roar. The four red titans seemed to have only instinct, but no wisdom. The moment when it was alarmed, they let out a terrifying roar. He rushed towards the outside with big strides, and the sky was filled with a rich red light. The faces of Poros and others became serious and full of vigilance. There was a slight smile on the face of Hecate. But their weakness is also obvious, and there is no weapon of wit. If no one uses it properly, how can it have great power? But seeing her lightly stretch out a finger, the surrounding night suddenly became denser. A melodious and melodious lullaby sang faintly under the sky full of stars. The four-headed titan that rushed forward roaring. He stopped for a moment. Like a big cat whose fur has been smoothed, it looks around blankly. In the melodious lullaby, the rich red glow from them gradually disappeared. It's like falling into a happy dream in a smooth tune. The corners of the mouth, grinned, and gradually closed the eyes. Fell into a deep sleep. Let's go, they won't wake up for a while. Hecate, smiled at the surprised Poros and the others behind. Then come to the altar. See the huge blood pool, and the light ball in the center of the blood pool. 
The goddess, complexion finally changed. Gaia, after all, you still chose this way. Do you even hesitate to take out the core of the earth? Goddess, this ball of light seems to be forcibly connecting a chaotic space. Poros reminded. Hecate, s eyes flashed suddenly. She walked to the ball of light step by step. Fingers lightly touch. Suddenly the surrounding space rippled. A deep silence, chaotic space appeared in front of my eyes. Her face changed solemnly. There was a long silence. Then he suddenly turned around and said to Poros and the others, I already know what Gaia is going to do. Next, I will deal with it here, you go back. Poros and the others were very curious. But still nodded and walked out. When they all left. Only then did Hecate turn her gaze to that deep space again. Through the layers of chaos, she saw a huge, majestic and hazy portal. If Poros is here, he can recognize it. This hazy and chaotic portal is the same as the starry sky-like giant gate in the temple of the goddess of destiny. In some ways, very similar. The gate of origin. It really is you, godfather chaos. Gaia really set her sights on it. He let out a long breath. A heavy night sky appeared in the hands of, Hecate. Facing the space in front of him, lay a thick layer of seal. Until the dense stars and night completely cover the chaotic opening in the inner space. She seemed relieved. He turned his gaze to the ball of light bathing in the pool of blood beside him. Gaia, if you are really asked to do this, the consequences will indeed be unpredictable. But now that I have discovered it in advance, you will never have a chance. Don't tell me, being borrowed by the goddess Nyx, Hecate's whole appearance changed suddenly. It becomes like a deep night sky, bottomless, and it makes people nervous just looking at it. On the way back, the goddess of victory with white wings flapped her chest lively, talking about the, Hecate, just now. All three of Poros frowned. Think about the reactions Nyx saw at that altar. There is still a secret hidden in this matter, and it involves the struggle between you and Yuan. After a while, Prometheus sighed slowly. Athena nodded and said, Throughout the ages, the original gods are the real masters of the world. Even if the court of God is replaced, it cannot be separated from their game. Now let's see how goddess Nyx will deal with Earth Mother's plan. Quote, but what is puzzling is why there are basically no traces of the god of darkness, the lord of the abyss, and the most mysterious god of chaos. It's completely as if only the earth mother and the evernight goddess are fighting. Poros suddenly frowned. He felt that several original gods were hiding a lot of secrets. There are almost no traces. Only mother earth is the most active, and now she has revealed her terrifying plans. But other originals are harmless otaku. What are they all doing? Gaia instigated Cronus to overthrow Uranus. He was later bound to that portal in the Temple of Fate. Gaia could not have been involved. Does this Earth Mother have any relationship with the three goddesses of fate in that door? Faintly, he had a hunch. The chaotic space connected by what Nyx called, the core of the Earth. Perhaps it has something to do with the mysterious Temple of Fate. Soon, the four of Poros returned to the island where Pallas was located. The God of War Strategy 0.8 stands far in front of that wooden house. Look at them who came back. Just now when, Hecate, came to ask me about the location of the island, I knew you were coming back soon. With a hoarse voice, he especially emphasized the name Hecate. Poros said, that's not just Hecate, she's not the goddess Nyx. I guessed it. Pallas nodded and breathed a sigh of relief. With the goddess of the night in person, it seems that the secret of the island will finally be revealed. Staring deeply at the direction of the island in the distance. Pallas looked very peaceful. At this time, he said again, Goddess Nyx didn't come back with you, she should be doing something there. But you probably don't have time to wait here. Pallas took out a tightly sealed secret letter from his arms. This is the information sent to me by my former subordinates in the Ocean God Department. Ocean Arnolds has made a decision to be neutral in this ocean war, and submit to the winner of Pontus and Poseidon after the war. The ocean war situation will definitely break out in a few days. Pontos and Poseidon will choose one person to become the real master of the ocean. And this is also the beginning of my opportunity to fulfill the promise I made earlier, to take over the ocean god system. When Poros and Prometheus, when arriving at Poseidon's Sea Emperor Palace, the Azure Palace has long been filled with the gods of the sea. 
Holding a trident, Poseidon sat on the throne with an angry face. He yelled at a dignified and beautiful woman next to him. O.C.E. Arnolds he's a gutless coward. Neutral. At this time he gave me this set. When I unify the ocean, I must take off his head and use it as a urinal. The Neptune was very angry. The curse made the eyes of the beautiful woman next to her turn red. A god below persuaded. The emperor of the sea, the lord of the ocean has always had such a multi-faceted style, so don't blame the queen of the sea anymore. HMPH, who told her to be that old guy's daughter. Poseidon growled. At this time, I saw Prometheus and Poros approaching outside. He patted the seat and shouted, You two, you are finally here. Keep the sea emperor waiting for a long time. Poros and Prometheus saluted Poseidon. Poseidon sat them down. He sighed softly. O.C.E. Arnolds tore up the covenant, now I really have to rely on my own strength to fight against Pontus. Next, I have to rely on the two of you to help me complete the great cause of ocean unification. Quote. Neptune don't worry, although Pontus is strong, he is not invincible. I was outside, and I also saw the goddess Athena and her 17-year-old goddess of victory coming behind. With them participating in the battle, our chances of winning are even greater this time. Quote. Poros pointed outside, in order not to make people doubt his relationship with Athena. He and Prometheus came to Poseidon first. Then Athena came from another place with Nikki. Not long after his voice fell. Athena, wearing bright and heroic armor, holding a spear and shield, is full of majesty. Walked in from the outside. The same glorious Nikki. A pair of pure white wings exuded soft light, and the girl had a smile on her face. Walk in with Athena. Seeing these two goddesses, the sea gods in the hall were all amazed. Only Poseidon above. There is no movement in the eyes. Holding the trident tightly, he said to the two. Goddess of wisdom, my brother asked you to help me, but you brought the goddess of victory. Nikki's is my god. This time, I happened to be in the ocean because I went home to see my father, so I let her join the battle on the way. Athena smiled and looked at Poseidon above. Poseidon sneered in his heart. He only hoped that the daughter of Zeus in front of him would not trip him up in the battle. But the surface is still very happy to say. The goddess of victory symbolizes the glory of victory, and this time she came to me to help out. It was fate that foretold me that Poseidon would rule the seas. Quote. Hear this sentence. The sea gods below are all infected. Everyone shouted. Victory. Victory. Defeat Pontos, and the Japanese rule the ocean. Seeing this scene, Poros whispered to Prometheus. The symbolic meaning of the goddess of victory is very high in the hearts of the gods. Now the morale of the gods here is high. Quote. Of course, it was back in the Titan god court. Every time Pallas fights, he takes Nikki with him. And he is often invincible, followed by the saying that as long as there is the goddess of victory, victory is inevitable. In Pallas' only defeat in his life, Nikki happened to stand opposite him, which made this statement even more popular. Prometheus chuckled beside him, staring at the roaring sea gods around. Poros whispered again, Pallas is now controlling the situation of the oceanic gods, so I don't know what's going on. After telling them about the decision-making information of the lord of the ocean. Pallas, the god of war strategy. He threatened to take advantage of the opportunity of the decisive battle between Poseidon and Pontos, which attracted worldwide attention. Fulfill the promised promise of taking down the oceanic gods. According to him, among the 6,000 sons and daughters of O.C.E. Arnolds, many were once his subordinates in the court of Titan God. Until now, still obey him. As long as the timing is right, the control of the oceanic god system can be quietly seized from the inside. Say this to him. Both Poros and Prometheus are a little worried. If we talk about the brain of the Titan in the peak era. With many loyal subordinates, it is conceivable. But now Pallas is just an ugly and old middle god. One order instigated many ocean gods to rebel against their father, Arnolds. No matter how you hear this, it is not reliable. But Pallas is confident, and don't want any help. Then you can only trust him. The brain of the Titan, the god of war strategy, is indeed a person who can perform miracles. Taking a breath, Poros stood up. Join Prometheus among the gods under the morale of Poseidon. The army is marching. The three emperors of the ocean. The territory of Poseidon is the offshore, and the territory of Pontus is the deep sea. 
at the junction of deep sea and offshore. At this moment, countless monstrous waves are churning. When Poseidon led the gods and the army to fly out of the water and watch from afar. In the direction of the deep sea, countless ocean houses have already gathered impressively. It is composed of many sea beasts and sea monsters. The gods of the Pontos line stand in the void. Standing next to Poros, Prometheus pointed across. Ponto's wife was Thalassa, goddess of the sea. But the main gods of the Ponto's family are all born of him and the earth mother. Quote. Such as Nessens, the friendliness of the sea, Kido, the danger of the sea, Talmus, the wonder of the sea, Forcus, the wrath of the sea, etc. The prophet quickly named the names of the many gods facing him in turn. Report to Poros to know. Some introduction down. Poros has a thorough basic understanding of the opposite Ponto's gods. In terms of overall strength, not to mention the two of them, Athena and Nikki. The Pontos family is indeed far stronger than the gods under Poseidon's command. The many children born to him and Gaia, the Earth Mother, are all the main gods with strong personalities. But it was Pontos himself who was really worth noting. Prometheus emphasized very solemnly. In the first generation of gods, Pontus was the lord of the ocean and Uriah, the lord of the mountains. The status is similar to the current Hades and Poseidon, and their strength and influence are firmly overwhelmed by Uranus. Quote. Later, when the second generation of Shetting, Urk Arnolds had just been granted the title of Haiyang, and tried to wipe out Pontos. For this, I asked my father Iopetus, Pallas father Cleos, the god of weather, and Kuz, the god of celestial bodies. Three or four high-level powerful titans of the main gods help out. As a result, they worked together and still failed to win Pontos. And Kronos also wanted to keep him to check and balance the situation in the ocean, and he was unwilling to personally help out. Quote. After listening to Prometheus, narration, Poros solemnly said. Being able to resist the siege of three or four high-level main god's titans, Pontus' strength is probably beyond the scope of the ninth-level main god. The ninth level of the main god is the apex of the gods, and its hard power is much better than the eighth level of the gods. Generally, a main god of level 9 is enough to rival the siege of two main gods of level 8 and 377. But the twelve titans are not ordinary people. Whether it is Arnold's, the lord of the ocean, or Iopetus, the god of life. They are all powerful men second only to Cronus in the titan court. They should all be at the ninth level of the lord god. Cleos, the god of weather, and Kuz, the god of celestial bodies, are about seven or eight levels above the main god. Under the siege of these titans, Pontos was able to escape completely. Compared with the current Zeus in strength, I am afraid that there is not much difference. This is just the strength of Pontus at the beginning, and now he may be even stronger. Prometheus told him solemnly. The gods below the ninth level of the main god all rely on their talents to reach what level they can reach when they become adults. What kind of rank will it be basically in the future? But at the ninth level of the main god, authority, will, divine body, and divine power are condensed into the apex of the god. Then faintly can break this shackle. There are endless possibilities. Therefore, the ninth level of the main god can sublimate himself and achieve the original through acquired hard work. Although since the first generation of Shetting, there has not been a source of divine comprehension, and it has been promoted to the original. But the god kings of the past dynasties, Pontus, Uriah, etc. faintly surpassed the existence of the ninth level of the main god. All of them have proved the feasible path of the lord god after the ninth rank. The two are talking. At the forefront of the sea gods, the Poseidon trident stopped lightly. The army stopped suddenly. Among the endless waves, there is an ocean about a hundred miles away. Numerous sea gods, closely face the big house. A shocking murderous aura suddenly permeated the air. In the endless waves of water, Poseidon raised his trident high and let out a roar that shook the world. Pontos, come out. Today is the time for us to decide who is the real king of the ocean. Under the vast sky, the boundless sea is blue and turbulent. Accompanied by the huge roar of the emperor of the sea. Shocking waves suddenly rolled up on the vast sea. Blue long hair flying. Poseidon holds his trident tightly in his right hand. The voluminous robe was blown in the hurricane, setting off the burly figure. The invisible momentum and the rushing sea water blended together to set off. Instantly became incomparably majestic. 
Just like the incarnation of the infinite sea supreme. The intimidating eyes made the gods of Tos tremble. The vast power seemed to rippling the entire ocean in an instant. And at this time, Poseidon, you are impatient. Then when you fall, I will give you the same eagerness as now. Surrounded by many gods such as Nisanth, the friend of the sea, Kido, the danger of the sea, and Teomas, the wonder of the sea. A shocking wave rose into the sky. On the thick water column, a bewitching and handsome figure loomed indistinctly. He was surrounded by countless water splashes. He has a handsome and well-proportioned body, long dark blue hair, and a feminine face. But the eyes with the same color as the sea are narrow and cold, and the chill is pressing. Proudly overlooking the vast sea, the figure can be compared with the world. Look at his slender palms again, the trident held tightly is very similar to the one held by Poseidon. They are all symbols of the Si Wang Quan, primordial Poseidon Pontus. It was the first time to see the legendary first sea emperor. Poros was a little surprised. The rumored primitive sea god was actually a handsome and feminine young man. It's hard to say anything else. In terms of appearance, he beat Poseidon. At the moment of emergence, Ponto's slender and weak body emanated an equally monstrous aura. Like a huge wall, standing in front of Poseidon's Dao Chi machine that blends with the ocean and integrates the world. Poseidon stagnated, as if he suffered a bit of a loss in his first fight. Clenching the trident in his hand, he snorted coldly and said. Pontos, you have finally shown yourself. I don't show up, how can I be worthy of you asking so many foreign aids? The long and narrow eyes swept across the faces of Poros, Prometheus, and Athena. Pontos's alluring and feminine face revealed a sneer. Poros sneered and said, After all, I am the orthodox Neptune in the hearts of the gods, and there are many gods willing to help me. And you, at this moment, can only fight alone. If that's the case, then why doesn't your queen's father's O.C.E. Arnold's appear now? Pontus sneered. The trident in his hand danced boldly. Triggering the endless waves behind him, huge water jets soared into the sky. In the sound of the tsunami, the primitive sea god's long and narrow eyes stared proudly between the sea and the sky. Poseidon, no matter how many helpers you have today, in front of my absolute strength. In the end, you can only die with hatred, this is the only possibility. The voice fell, the water jets rising behind Pontos. In an instant, it turned into an infinite giant wave, sweeping towards the Boank army. Poseidon looked angry. They waved the trident in their hands at the same time. It is also a monstrous water wave, rolling up turbulently. Rushed to the Pontus camp. There was only a bang. The endless water waves that cover the sky and the sun are like countless towering mountains colliding rapidly. The impact was smashed to pieces. Whether it is offshore, deep sea, or ocean rivers, all shake violently. The whole world trembled faintly. Just for a split second. The figures of the emperors of the two seas intertwined. Already fiercely rushing to the deepest part of the ocean. Kill, kill, knock down Poseidon and call Yingtianhai. Smash Pontos and rule the ocean. Following the two sea emperors took the lead. The gods on both sides also shouted slogans and led the army to rush towards each other bravely. Soon, the two sides were fighting together. The bright red blood stained the blue sea. The decisive battle to determine the unification of the sea broke out. The sonorous sound of battle. Blink resounds through the whole sea, the whole world. The gods of sky, earth, and Hades. All were attracted. My ancestral god Chaos, the great ocean war has finally broken out. Look, his majesty Poseidon is attacking Pontus, they are fighting. Wow, that's the goddess Athena, and the goddess of victory, they are also there. Hey, is that young god with blonde hair and silver eyes the recently famous god of opportunity Poros? He met Ponto's son, Forcus, the fury of the sea, which is not an easy character to deal with. The gods from all over the world are watching the excitement and it is not too big of a deal. One by one, they are paying attention to the battle situation in various places. Only the sea is another place. Located at the edge of the ocean, and also the edge of the world, in the vast ocean that wraps around the world like a belt. O.C.E. Arnolds, the burly lord of oceans and rivers, was full of anxiety in the palace. With many sons, closely watching the beginning of the war between the two emperors. Pontos has a proud personality. 
If he wins, he will definitely humiliate me afterwards, but as long as I surrender well, he probably won't kill me. Poseidon is cruel and selfish, if he wins, he will definitely teach me a lesson. But my daughter is his queen of the sea, and the oceanic gods also need someone to lead, so he probably won't do anything to me. While watching the battle, the master of oceans and rivers murmured in his heart to comfort himself. The mood is very complicated. See his anxiety. Among the ocean gods below, one could not help but say. Father God, you are also one of the three sea emperors, and my ocean gods are not weaker than Pontus and Poseidon. Why do we have to sit here and wait for them to decide the outcome, we have the hope of winning if we kill now. Acosta, what do you know? The god of oceans and rivers gave the sun a cold look. Looking at the other children who seemed to be about to move, he scolded in a low voice. Quote dot. Ponto's strength is unfathomable, and his brother Uriah, the lord of the mountains, commands the land and mountains, and is also a great support. Behind Poseidon there are Zeus and Hades. If it really came to a critical moment, the two of them would not allow him to perish and cause Olympus to lose its ocean territory. Only I am alone and helpless. Even if I defeat the two of them on the battlefield, there will be no benefit in the end. So it's better to sit here and wait for them to decide the winner, and then cling to the winner. The ending will not be any worse than now. It's really not possible, anyway, you have so many sisters, choosing a few beautiful ones for them will ease the relationship. Arnold spoke louder and louder. It seems that he is also suffering in his heart, and he can only tell this truth to his children. In order to strengthen your beliefs. Wait for him to finish. Many gods of the oceanic god system looked at each other in blank dismay. Some of them fit right away. Others remained silent. Only the tall god named Acosta walked out of the palace with his fists clenched. He came to a corner. Take out a mirror-like artifact and pile it up. A haggard figure appeared inside, it was Pallas, the god of war strategy. But seeing Qian Zhao, this very ugly figure, Acosta's face is full of admiration. Master Pallas, you are indeed right. My father is a selfish and shameless coward, he has no courage to be a warrior and a king. Oceanic gods need reform, if we continue to be led by him, only defeat awaits us. I am willing to obey your orders and give this vast ocean a new king. After listening to him, Pallas in the mirror nodded in relief. You can think clearly, I am very happy. Now is the best time to implement the plan. Several other brothers of yours, Alpheus and Carlirohe, have also contacted me for discussion. Quote. The few of you are the best among the gods of the ocean, and there are many gods who follow. As long as we unite our forces, overthrowing OCE Arnold's is actually not difficult. Come on, let me tell you about the specific plan. Well, Pachu Heavenly Man. Acosta nodded repeatedly to the mirror. Eyes and ears are wide open. It seems that he is unwilling to let go of any words or actions of the person in front of him. Didn't know Pallas moved so fast. It has begun to subvert the oceanic god system from within. Poros was frowning at the huge and ugly sea monster in front of him. This is the enemy who rushed to him after the battle. Poseidon's lackey, I see in your eyes the slander of the great Forcus. The great Forcus hates your eyes, so I will eat you. On the sea with huge waves rushing. An ugly monster with a body like a giant reptile and dozens of tentacles. On Yuan Gungan's head, two big eyes stared at him full of hostility. Roar. Dozens of pitch black tentacles rolled and entangled in the water waves. Suddenly, it was like chains shooting rapidly. It rained down on the slender form of Poros. Hey, Pontos looks pretty good, why do you have such a strange son? If you say you are the son of Typhon, I believe it. Quote. The bright silver eyes that were as bright as the stars lifted up gently. Poros let out a long sigh. The spirit stick suddenly appeared in his hand. Brush. The divine power is urged, and there are beams of bright streamers. Shot from the top of the clear and slender spirit stick. Each of them happened to land on the tentacles that the giant monster, Fulcus, the fury of the sea, fell from pitch black. Cheers. The many tentacles were shot off one by one. A puff of black blood. Splash in sea water. Sapporos is only a little short of reaching the ninth level of the main god. Even if it's just the most casual attack, it can also easily injure low level main gods. Roar. Tentacle breaks. Ugly hideous sea monster. 
suddenly let out a painful roar. God, I want you to die. The huge body of Forcus, like a reptile, swayed painfully on the sea surface. Suddenly boundless waves rolled up, straight into the sky, covering the sky. Like the sea is angry. To tear up everything that exists with the infinite water force. One after another monstrous water volumes rose up into the sky astonishingly. All rolled towards Poros here. In the entire surrounding sea area, the gods and armies who were fighting were all pale in horror. This scene is like the sea being angry, it is too terrifying and amazing. There are several lower gods and personal deities. Be on the fringes. Get swept up by this monstrous huge wave. Immediately, the divine body shattered and died, torn apart alive by the huge water force. The remaining gods on both sides. They all quickly left this sea area and fled to other places to fight. Only Poros was in the midst of the shattering waves. Quietly gaze at the boundless waves that are surging around you. The wrath of the sea. Focus, you can arouse the angry power of the sea, but do you know? Trigger my anger, and the consequences will be more terrible than the anger of the sea. Murmur in the mouth. Poros suddenly held out a palm. An astonishing chill emanated from it. In the blink of an eye, the surrounding temperature began to drop visible to the naked eye. Layers of crystal clear ice. Centering on the place where Poros stands, it spreads rapidly. What is this? Inspired by the wrath of the sea, the ugly and huge body is hidden in the endless waves. Keep your eyes on the loathsome enemy ahead. It was ruthlessly torn apart by the angry power of the sea. When the infinite chill spreads, the endless waves inspired by the angry sea. Freeze into ice a little bit. When the vast sea freezes. Fuercus suddenly became alert. The fury of the sea is irresistible, you cannot freeze the boundless ocean. This ferocious sea monster let out a terrifying roar. Ugly and chubby body, just newly opened tentacles. Crazy grow brand new tentacles, and continue to extend. Towards all directions of the ocean, it stirs violently like paddling. This terrifying picture attracted the eyes of many gods watching the battle from all over the world. It's Forcus, the hideous sea monster of the sons of Pontus. Ancestor god Chaos. This monster is fully mobilizing the power of the wrath of the sea, and tens of thousands of miles of sea have been aroused. Many low-level gods have already screamed, with fear in their tone. Fuercus, the fury of the sea, is one of the famous terrifying monsters in the ocean. He especially likes to cause chaos on various islands, causing shipwrecks and destroying all life. Even his father, Pontus, hated him terribly. But his horror is beyond doubt. The name Forcus on the ocean is another name for disaster. Who is fighting him and enraged him to such an extent? A god exclaimed. It seems to be the student of his royal highness Prometheus, the son of the goddess Nyx, the god of opportunity Poros. Then it's over for him, Forcus, the cruel monster, doesn't care whose son or student he is. Whoever it is, he will brutally tear him apart. The voice of the gods has not yet come to an end. In the depths of the monstrous waves caused by Forcus, there are countless crystal clear ice bodies expanding rapidly. Under the boundless chill, time and space seem to be forbidden. Pentium waves, sweeping stormy waves. They were still rippling, splashing with waves, and suddenly condensed in the air. Crystal clear and white. Bitter chill. What a country of ice and sea. The gods who lost their voices were also shocked by this scene. Looking at the young god with blonde hair and silver eyes little by little, he stepped out slowly on the ice. The staff in his hand shot out bright rays of light, and the pursuit was frozen due to the sea water. Forcus struggling frantically in the ice. Great Forcus hates water. Where is my sea, and where is my water, water? Ugly and ferocious sea monster. Dozens of tentacles frantically slap the surrounding ice. Try to break through the sharp ice and find sea water in the deep sea. Poros calm silver eyes locked on him. You want water, I'll give it to you. The spirit stick suddenly aimed at Hazy's furious round head. A chilling ray instantly landed on Fuercus' huge and ugly body. The sea monster struggled frantically. But the whole body has gradually become BHEC white. Harsh ice spread from all parts of his body, tentacles, body, and head. Soon all were frozen. The gods stared in shock. Poros smiled lightly. Ice is also a form of water. As he said that, he slammed his stick on Fuercus who was frozen tightly. 
Click a few times. The frozen body of this huge sea monster suddenly fell apart. Become numerous crushed ice cubes. Is that how Porcus died? The gods who witnessed this scene were all a little lighthearted. Forcus, the fury of the sea. It is also a notorious existence in the ocean, and the gods in the ocean will walk far away when they see it. Now he was killed lightly. What a brutal war. What a god of opportunity. Having dealt with Forcus, Poros looked at other battle situations around him. Prometheus is somewhere in the distant sea. Entangled with Nisanth, the eldest son of Pontus, the friend of the sea. That is a powerful god. If Prometheus hadn't comprehended the root, he would only rely on the third level personality of the main god. Not necessarily its opponent. On the other side, Athena and Nikki are also fighting with Keto, the danger of the sea, and Talmus, the wonder of the sea. The strength of these two gods is not very good. Barely reached the main god. He retreated steadily in front of the two Athenas. But as sea gods, they undoubtedly have home court advantage when fighting on the ocean. With the cooperation of the two, they can still pester Athena and Nikki. Gods are divided into attributes. God of heaven, god of earth, god of Hades, god of sea. There are bonuses for fighting in their respective home courts. The anger of the sea, Forcus just now, is no more than the strength of the first or second level of the main god. But under the blessing of the ocean, it is not inferior to the fourth and fifth ranks of the main god. It's a pity that I met Poros. After the seawater froze, it instantly killed it. Otherwise, two more efforts will be wasted. My sister has to pretend to paddle for Zeus to sea. It seems that I will play with the two sons of Pontus for a long time. Poros glanced at Athena again. Zeus sent Athena to watch over the ocean. I don't want her to work hard at all. So at this moment Athena didn't show her real skills at all. With the presence of me, my teacher, and my sister, the battle situation here is basically no problem. Indeed, Poros turned his eyes to the deepest part of the ocean. At this moment, there is the focus of attention of the gods. Pontus and Poseidon are fighting there. The outcome of the two of them is the key to determining the entire war. Even with the intensity of the distance. There are still loud noises that shake the entire ocean from time to time, rumbling from there. The sound of the torrent and the sound of the storm are continuous and endless. All the gods want to see the battle situation carefully. But the countless splashing waves completely blocked the line of sight and disturbed the law. The gods outside made it impossible to see the situation clearly. Poros slowly approached there. The eye of mystery moves. It was only through the layers of water curtains that I could clearly see the situation inside. The situation of Poseidon is not good, it is completely suppressed by Pontus. In the battle situation seen clearly by the eyes of mystery. The two blue tridents of Pontus and Poseidon clashed continuously. Countless water waves rolled over. But it shoots out dazzling sparks. The surrounding space was blown apart. But time goes by. Pontos is still moving smoothly. But Poseidon felt that his face was flushed, and the arm waving the trident began to tremble. Finally, there was a loud clang. The Ponto's trident condensed the mighty power of the ocean, and smashed towards Poseidon. Poseidon immediately waved his halberd to resist. But there was a violent collision. He was directly sent flying by the infinite ocean power, and fell into the sea water. Poseidon is defeated. He really isn't the opponent of Pontus, the ocean battle has already come to an end. Seeing this scene, the gods all over the world screamed. In Olympus, in Hades. Zeus and Hades even took out their weapons, ready to rescue Pawinter. Although the three brothers are at odds. But the ruling system of Olympus is that the sky, ocean, and Hades present a triangle. Usually they can fight each other to the death. But watching Poseidon fall, that's not enough. The court of Olympus is based on the joint achievements of the three brothers. Without any corner, this third generation shedding will be crumbling. But at this moment, Zeus' eyes moved. This Poros, he seems to be going to help Poseidon. Rough sea. Poseidon took staggering steps, using the trident in his hand as support. Standing up from the sea with difficulty. Although he is still holding on to the Xeon artifact that symbolizes the great sea Wang Quan. But an unprecedented solemn mood filled the heart of this sea emperor. The waves are still there. It is still the familiar boundless ocean, which belongs to his territory and country. But a generation of kings is exhausted in body and soul. 
In front of him is a powerful and incomparable enemy of destiny. Poseidon, admit defeat, you are not my opponent. Also holding the trident tightly. Pontus, the primordial god of the sea with a monstrous face, has a proud look in his eyes. Stand on the sky-high waves and look down at Poseidon below. In the ocean river that is not very far from here. The god of oceans and rivers, Arnold's. There was a trance in his eyes. Sure enough, as I expected, Poseidon lost to Pontus. It was right for me not to fulfill my covenant with him. The lord of the ocean suddenly laughed loudly. This caused the ocean gods below to slander. Not long ago, you were wondering which team would win and were anxious. Why is it already expected now? Ignoring the thoughts of these children, Arnold's immediately cried out. Which of you will write me a letter of surrender, ready to send to Pontus? Father God, this is too urgent. Poseidon is not defeated, and things are still turning around. Quote. Someone from the ocean gods persuaded. But Arnold sneered. Can there be any turning point? I have long seen that Poseidon is not good, he is not the opponent of Pontus. Now even if Zeus and Hades appear, at most they can protect him from death. It is inevitable that the battle of the ocean will end with the victory of Pontos. You guys are talking about who can help him turn defeat into victory, let's exchange it. He stared at his many sons and daughters. Seeing all the gods of the ocean bowed their heads and remained silent, their faces were full of complacency. Suddenly, a weak voice came from below. Father, God, it seems that someone has really gone to help Poseidon. The master of the ocean and rivers was stunned. You want me to admit defeat, Pontus, you think too beautifully. Supporting his body with his trident, Poseidon stared coldly at Pontos, who was gradually approaching in the sky. He gritted his teeth and prepared to fight to the death. If you just bow your head and admit defeat, go to Zeus in the future. He is not reconciled. Very well, then let me take you on your way. Sky Pontos drank proudly. The trident in his hand condensed the monstrous waves, as if the power of the huge sea was at the tip of the small halberd. Wherever it passes, the void is torn apart. The cold is about to stab. Poseidon below also gritted his teeth and raised his halberd. Do your best, fight to the death. The gods watching the battle were breathing hard. Suddenly, a brilliant light attacked from the side of Pontos. Who dares to attack me? The primordial sea god's cold and narrow eyes glanced suddenly. The trident, which condensed the power of the infinite sea in his hand, also suddenly slashed to the side. A transparent, crystal clear staff. Impressively intertwined with the trident he struck. Boom. Accompanied by a sound that shook the ocean, there was a dull and loud noise that stretched across the world. The monstrous ocean waves and the splendid sacred mighty force shocked the sky. The space exploded on the spot. A series of black cracks are spreading. The turbulent aftermath ripples the sea and sky, and the vast sea is agitated by thousands of turbulent waves. Only then did the gods see clearly the appearance of attacking the figure of Pontos with the transparent staff. The man had blonde hair and silver eyes, a handsome face, and an inborn majesty. It seemed that some kind of magic was performed, and a pair of illusory wings of light and fire condensed on the queen of the gods. Add a three-point sacred charm to yourself. Poros. On Mount Olympus, Hermes, the messenger of the gods, who was still recuperating from the wound he suffered on the Caucasus mountain last time, was the first to call out. He still remembers it clearly. How did I fail in Hades, when the other party was like this now? Illusory wings of light and fire appeared behind him, holding a crystal clear staff. Well, Pontus isn't me. If you intervene in this battle, I want to see if I can get out unscathed. The messenger of the gods snorted coldly. His eyes were fixed on the direction of the ocean. Not only him, gods all over the world also recognize Poros. The god of opportunity is really powerful, and he actually blocked the attack of the primitive sea god. He is Poseidon's helping hand, with him joining, I don't know if there will be a turning point in this battle. Turnaround. Ponto's strength is unpredictable. He is a young god, even if the main god is high level, what can he change? The gods talked about it. And in the raging waves. Under the huge shock wave, Poro stabilized his figure. The, holy wings, stretched fiercely, and the, spiritual staff, rubbed in his hands. He solemnly looked at Pontos on the opposite side. Pontos was also looking at him. Poros, god of opportunity, is this your name? 
The primordial sea god with a monstrous face, with cold and stern eyes in his long and narrow eyes, asked lightly. I didn't expect you, your highness Pontus, to know me. Poros smiled. Hey, Zeus made such a big noise a few days ago, who doesn't know you and Prometheus teacher and student? Pontos sneered and raised the main halberd behind his back. At this time, Poseidon over there let out a pleasant roar. Poros, you came just in time. Together with you and me, we will defeat Pontus, and I will rule the ocean and make you the vice lord of the ocean. The Neptune's mood can be described as experiencing ups and downs. Just now I was thinking of fighting to the death with Pontus. But the sudden entry of Poros undoubtedly gave him hope. Compared with other gods, he knew better that the young god in front of him was not simple. Hey, what if there is one more? Pontos sneered proudly, his narrow eyes locked on Poros. It's just my trident, adding another corpse. The primitive sea god suddenly raised the trident in his hand. One after another monstrous jets of water exploded behind him, and endless waves swept across the world. Crashing into his sharp trident. Come on, you two pick me up. The power of the three seas, Tian Xinglo. Puff puff puff. The Ponto's trident waved in the air. The whole sea trembled. Countless jets of water shook the sky, and Yuan sent a Chinese medicine doctor following it. Pentium endlessly in the vast sky. It turned into thousands of huge water balls like stars, burning flames. Fall from the sky, like falling stars. Boom. The first flaming water balloon. It fell on top of Poros. His spirit stick moved, and the sacred wings of light and fire behind him fluttered at the same time. Blazing holy light tore it apart. But immediately there were dozens of meteorite-like water spheres, following closely behind. Poros' expression changed. A monstrous chill was released from the whole body, freezing the surrounding void. A sharp drop in temperature. The burning water balls that caused the sky to fall suddenly, extinguished the fire one by one, and froze in midair. He breathed a sigh of relief. On the other side, the situation of Poseidon is not good. Pontos, thousand stars falling, is more of a greeting to his head. This Neptune has no ability to freeze everything. He can only wave the trident, causing countless water waves to soar into the sky. Resist the burning water balls that are smashed one by one. But in an instant, there were still one or two water polo passing by his body quickly. Instantly, two burning wounds appeared on Poseidon's body. His Majesty, attacked Pontus. Standing in the distance, Poros yelled at Pohank. The latter reacted at this time. No longer pay attention to defending the burning water polo falling from the sky. Instead, he swung his trident and stabbed towards Pontus who was controlling the water polo. On the other side, Poros also suppressed the chill all over his body. The sacred wings vibrate. Infinite light and fire bless him. The supreme heart in the body is beating even more. Increase the personality to the extreme level of the ninth level of the main god. Dancing the spirit stick in another direction, attacking Pontos. Hey, your reaction is not bad. Then pick me up next. Feel the surprise attack from both sides. Pontos's expression froze, he waved the trident in his hand, and he had the power of the infinite ocean. Quickly gathered in his trident. In Poseidon, Poros approached on his path. Shockingly rolled up one after another monstrous waves. When these water waves were churning out, they all condensed into strange appearances one by one. A giant beast with a face like a wolf a lion with fifty heads, a huge octopus with hundreds of tentacles, a vulture with golden feathers. All in the form of ferocious beasts. But shortly after appearing, the splashes that make up them seem to condense into a solid body. Their eyes are also full of life-like agility, and bloodthirsty hostility permeates all directions. Seeing Poros and Dong in front of them, one of them rushed forward. Each head is violent and real, with powerful and terrifying power. Look at Poseidon and Poros caught in their siege. The corner of Ponto's mouth curled up into a smile, and after he finished speaking, the famous minister of the magic technique. The power of the four seas, the tide of beasts. Then he whispered softly, Since I was born in the age of ignorance, I have gone through three generations of gods, creating a total of seven great magical arts, which are called the power of the seven seas, and one sea is higher than the other. Let's see, what kind of sea can you two understand in the end? Woohoo! 
The roar of hostility soared to the sky, and the endless waves continued. Every wave and every stream of water that the Pontos trident waved. All in turbulent waves. Gather a group of ferocious beasts. Like the descendants of Typhon, they have all sorts of strange and ugly appearances. But powerful and brave, bite around the target in all directions. Pong. Poseidon's trident waved. Crush a wolf-shaped monster with eight claws in one blow. The mighty force smashed it into splashes. But soon the splashing water reunited on the sea surface to form a brand new monster. Bite towards him. Poseidon thrust out the trident with all his might. But helplessly, there are still many fierce beasts condensed by seawater, besieging him. They are like endless waves. Forming a raging tide of beasts, covering every targeted prey. These guys aren't just infinite in number. And every time you break one, it will recondense into a new one. Poseidon roared angrily. The trident continued to slash the turbulent beast tide around, but it had no effect at all. And on the other side, it is also poros surrounded by beast tides condensed by seawater. 383 was first struck by the spiritual stick continuously. But it is also difficult to eliminate this endless seawater beast. They are condensed by the water of the ocean, and their individual strength is actually nothing to the main god. But in this vast ocean, the sea water is infinite, and the number of fierce beasts condensed by the sea water is naturally infinite. Plus the feature of being scattered and reunited. Simply endless. No matter how strong you are, you will be exhausted by being surrounded. But Pontus, you really underestimate me, the god of opportunity. After being entangled with many seawater beast tides for a period of time, a faint smile suddenly appeared on the corner of Poros's mouth. I saw him raising the spirit stick forward, facing the overwhelming beast horde, tap lightly. Immediately, a soft light fell on the bodies of many beasts condensed by seawater. Poros walked there step by step. Countless seawater beasts around him immediately bit at him. But there are a lot of them. When all swarmed, all of them stumbled over each other. A large octopus with hundreds of tentacles was stepped on by a giant elephant. A piebald horse with more than a dozen tails was pierced by a rhinoceros with huge horns on its head. From the claws of a giant crab, to the head of a three-headed giant lion. In the sound of splashing water. These were originally menacing seawater beasts. They bumped into each other funny ly one by one. Poros roamed freely in their gaps. Step by step approaching Pontos. In front of the god of opportunity, this kind of group attack can't take advantage. The greater the number, the more surprises, and I can increase the odds of anything happening. Quote. Gazing into the long and narrow eyes of the primordial sea god. Poros said with a chuckle. The power of, opportunity, is one of the most important powers he was born with. The probability of something happening can be manipulated. Poros doesn't use it very often. Because this authority is not very effective in a one-on-one -on -one frontal battle. Only sneak attacks, or large-scale group battles, the effect is particularly significant. As he said, the greater the number, the more complicated things become. The more complex things are the more prone to unexpected variables. And the more chaotic and uncontrollable this is, it is a good opportunity for the birth of an opportunity. Oh, it seems that I underestimated you. Pontos's long and narrow eyes sparkled. He saw Poros breaking through the tide of beasts. The spiritual staff slashed at him. He hastily waved his trident and with unrivaled water potential, he charged towards it. Pong, the sharp trident and the slender crystal clear staff collided heavily. The huge impact shocks the void. Pontos and Poros, at the same time, were shocked back a step. This god is so powerful. Staring at the opposite side, Pontos was secretly startled. His trident carries the infinite water power of the ocean, and one blow is like a punch from the vast ocean. The power is enough to shatter the earth and invite the heavenly ministers to feast. But the tremendous power emitted by the young god in front of him was actually comparable to it. And on the opposite side, Poros was equally astonished. My divine body is already outstanding, but after being integrated into the supreme heart, it has transformed even more, and its strength is more than ten times that of ordinary gods. In addition, the supreme heart, boosts the tyrannical power of the ninth level of the main god. It's only comparable to his hasty outburst. Surprised by the strength of the original sea god, 
Horos waved the spirit staff again. The supreme heart in the body was beating. Strong power is continuously poured into every part of the body. He hit Pontos with a bang. The original sea god trident also raised. Just about to attack, unexpectedly, a huge wave came from behind. Death to Pontos. Poseidon roared and broke through the tide of sea beasts that Poros was close to, and Pontus was unable to take care of. Attacked from another direction. Bang bang. Pontos waved his trident vigorously, and the waves swept across his body. At the same time intercept the offensive on both sides. Although it is the first time to join forces against the enemy. But the cooperation between Poros and Poseidon is still tacit. One is on the left and one is on the right. Attack Pontos from every angle. The fierce storm-like attack surged and fell on the primitive sea god. Pontos, who was originally proud and unmatched, gradually showed the fatigue of being unable to take care of both. He roared angrily, take me the power of the five seas. The day of the blazing sun. Follow his voice. In the boundless sea area around, there are endless surging waves. All of a sudden, they rolled back into the sky. It burned brightly. In an instant, a huge sun composed of monstrous sea water hung in the sky. Fiery flames covered Pontos, this primitive sea god. It is like merging with the boundless sea and the blazing sun in the sky. Between waving the trident, water and fire flow side by side, and the burning sea is like a star river hanging upside down from nine heavens. Severe impact Poros duo. Feel the unparalleled power that comes from crushing. Poros and Poseidon exchanged glances. At the same time fighting back. Poros once again condensed the wings of light and fire behind him, and the supreme heart beat extremely. The strength climbed and increased to the extreme of the main god. And Poseidon didn't know what method he used. The burly figure became unreal. Into the boundless sea of turbulent waves. The two are also fighting each other. Shock the original Poseidon from the sky and the sea respectively. Boom. The shocking collision shook the boundless ocean in the blink of an eye. Athena and other gods who were fighting fiercely in the distance were torn apart by the aftermath. The monstrous aftermath spread directly to the edge of the vast world. The earth, sky, and Hades trembled. All the gods watching the battle from all over the world changed their expressions. What a terrifying primitive sea god. What a mighty sea emperor, what a mighty god of opportunity. Great battle on the ocean. Most of the gods have been shocked speechless. He could only look at this fiercely fighting figure with fearful eyes. Top of Olympus. Sitting on the throne, Zeus stared at the battle situation. His majestic cheeks were also dignified. Pontos, HMPH, the strength is indeed not as good as mine. Poseidon's performance is within expectations. As for this Poros, he actually has a strength not inferior to Poseidon. The king of the gods frowned for a moment. But he knew that this son of Nyx, a student of Prometheus, seemed to be underage. Thinking about it, he himself only reached the ninth level of the main god when he was approaching adulthood. Doesn't that mean, isn't this young god inferior to the king of the gods? No, such an excellent god is never allowed to fall into the underworld and the ocean. He can only be in Olympus, under my eyes. Hold on to the throne. Zeus growled. At this time, he looked at the sea battle situation that was still being fought anxiously, and said in a concentrated voice. It seems that it will take some time for the results to be drawn. Come and meet Gaia now. The king of the gods who has recovered most of his injuries. He took out his lightning spear and set out the temple of the king of gods. Quietly went down to Olympus. In the dark underworld. Pluto Hades, who is also concerned about the ocean war situation, has a hard face like black iron. Gazing at the young figure who fought against Pontus together with Poseidon. Can't help showing anger. 0.4. Poros, have you forgotten that you are from Hades? Looking up with Zeus and Poseidon, whether you have a rebellious heart or not, you are a traitor. The Hades patted the seat angrily. The dark eyes seemed to be burning with blazing fire. May erupt at any time. But after a while, he let out a long breath to calm himself down. There were no people in Hades. If you fall out with Poros, you, the Pluto, will become naked. It can't go on like this. My underworld has few powerful gods at my command, and I will always have to endure these disloyal traitors. I need to get enough gods, what should I do? After thinking for a while, 
he remembered what his two brothers did. Clapping, find a good enough goddess and let her give birth to a bunch of children for me. When they all grow up, my subordinates will naturally have combat power. Quote, that's it, foreign gods, how can their own children be reliable? Made up my mind, the lord of Hades leapt from his throne. His eyes stared in the direction of Olympus. Hey, Zeus seems to have left Olympus, a good chance. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.